communication lines open between. Uh, welcome everyone to this episode two of Hammerfall. So previously from our previous episode, um, our heroes Edmund Fire Hill, that by the way, and um, uh, Ray Scale were in charge to defend the fortress or this kingdom of elves in Indonesia, in the continent, the Dosrin. Uh, they did sufficiently well, but with the life of Pyro Zanthir being sacrificed uh, when he fought that deep scene in the last uh, session. That was pretty epic, you know, when he turned to an angel, given that his god didn't want him to go yet and he has still a mission to do. Uh, Pyro Zanthir was sent an, an avenging angel in his, uh, his stead when he lost his mortal life. Uh, and that helped Edmund and Rachel survive, and King, uh, what they call this, King Flivian, was able to make it there just in time to, um, to evacuate all the citizens and burn down the, the cemetery that they had to hold because it, it held many artifacts of legendary Mandroth history. And um, urgency is, uh, is the main key here. It's, it's an important part here because um, moving on, the world, the portal of demons uh, is getting bigger. And Edmund, Rayscale, and of course another party member is in charge to handle this part. But before we get into that, we'll first go through the things that Edmund had to, had, has to handle before he embarked in this dangerous quest, and that is, Edmund didn't ask regarding the dragons um, yeah. from the king, right? I recall yeah. that correctly. So he had a conversation with the king, and... Um, he asked you, do you want to have a dragon to help you oh. in your, in your journey? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. He's, uh, of course, it's a golden dragon that he is, uh, in depth with him. Usually the explanation is that dragons, they don't, how would you call it? They don't meddle with human affairs. Yeah. Because in this world, like, you know, uh, this is more of a meta knowledge regarding the world of Solus. So dragons here, they don't handle it in um, human or mortal affairs simply because way back in the Ethereum times when they did that, you know, the entire place was technically, tech, so technologically advanced that it collapsed on itself, the civilization. So it, they, they became very powerful, but in return, everyone else turned against them and that led to the near extinction of dragons. So mm. they realized that like, oh, the, the, if we help people more, the more they get angry at us and try to kill us. So maybe we'll, we'll stop doing that now. With that in mind, this golden dragon, this, this, this entity, um, is King Fleeman actually saved this king, this dragon. And it is in depth to him. And he's asking you whether if you're interested that it will help you or not. But of course, there's a, there's a trade. And that is, he's asking for your 15 men, your 15 remaining men of the Order of the Hammer to stay and protect the kingdom. Hmm. Hmm. So either we get a dragon mm -hmm. or 15 men. Mm -hmm. So you, you're free to ask, like, regarding what are the differences, what do you get, and stuff like that. Yeah, um, uh, I would like to know that if I, if right. I, yeah. So let's, let's talk about your 15 men. Your 15 men can easily take down one dragon alone. That, that's the <laughs> fact. You know, we, we barely... With, with some wounds and stuff like that, but they won't die. They could easily take down fire, like a dragon alone. They, they could probably take down like three dragons before they all die. Okay. But the problem is that your men can't fly, they can't carry you, and right, right. there's so many men you have to feed, you have to, right. you have to take care of, and things like that. On the other hand, the dragon can fly you to places. And it's more of like if you're, if you're planning to be a scalpel kind of squad, like, you know, if you're planning to do some insurgency shit or like trying to go to a place, get in and get out fast. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's the friend for you because dragons can get you in and, in and out real fast, you know? Okay. Um, where we are going and Edmund decided okay. to go the... So, yeah, for the rest of the players, I let uh, Edmund choose which seat of power you're going to this in this session. And in this one, you're going to this place known as the Home Passage going to the storm, uh, what do you call it, to the storm plains of the Nostrin. And in this area, this, this general region known as the Umbral Passage, uh, there's a village uh, known as Rikers, the Rikers village, uh, it's named after their, the Scouts Valley is named after their, um, 
what do you call this? The crowd leader first, the town leader, forgot to call They're mayor. <laughs> They're mayor, did you guys? Okay. So, Mayor Parker was named after the small town who was, was near in the seat of power. Back the seat of powers are like arcane powers, right? Where dragons used to reside during the millennium of dragons and where dragons took over the entire continent of Thanos. Mm. So, these are their, their places of power, and there's nine of them. And there's only three you know right now in existence, and the others have been destroyed. And this one is in the near Rikers village. Okay. And um, so you're going there. Um, and if you're going to go there on foot, it will... Because there we have a train. We have a train now. You know, it's a transcontinental train. The problem is that there's demons and devils around. Okay. So there's that logistical problem that you can't use the train. So you have to resort to um, horses. So it will take you days to get there. At least two days for you if you're traveling to uh, get to overall passage and to do the village. That's what the scouts did. I mean, that's not what the scouts did, but there were already scouts there uh, who, who went before you. So um, with Dragon, that would just take a day of travel, just flying, you know? Yeah. Uh, so it's a question of how fast we can get there and how convenient we can get there mm -hmm. versus how powerful we are. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, you're much powerful with 15 Order of the Hammer people inside. Also, logistics, you know, you have to know what to feed them. You have to watch over them and stuff like that. Okay. Um, We'll go with the dragon. Alright, so you traded your 15 men for, for, for Mr. Dragon here. Let me check out his name. Um, give me a second here. So his name is Gufrain. I will type that down. And that's the Dawson term. Gufrain the Golden Dragon. Um, from our previous campaign, dragons actually have... Okay, go ahead and get your food. I'll explain it for the rest of the guys here. Oh no, we'll wait for him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so y'all got a dragon. Nice. Will help you. Uh, he will. There are some things that dragons can get during fights, so you know um, that we can discuss later on. Uh, he, but he's not gonna go inside underground areas. Those are limitations. But he'll help you travel and go around and shit. Let me just pull up my stuff. Oh, I gotta open up all there. back all right hey what's up man so um practically other things that of course the dragon can help you fight in some situations you know um it could be proven as artillery stuff like that so he can do like every end around he can do fire breath fly through the fly through enemies and do fire breath and stuff like that yeah. but mostly you'll be covering your back line because you're also getting chased by devils and demons yeah that's a thing and you know you don't want to get in their way all right, second part, about gold old, um, what's his name again? Character sheet. So the brown man, his name is uh, Turian, and you're, at this point, you've been close enough with Gargo that he actually told you his true name. Oh, okay. Okay, if you had played the previous campaign, that would have been like near the ending, yes. where he would have, you know, that would, depends on your relationship with him. Okay. But he told your true name. But because of, you know, since you knew his true name and you were close back then, you didn't use it to take him down. Against him, yeah. Until Against recently. Him. Until recently, because you had this, what they call this, this uh, falling apart. Yeah. Because uh, he, he started to actually, uh, what they call this, give you what apparently you thought as a silent treatment. Okay. And you didn't like that. Because, of course, deep inside your head, he might be plotting something, right? He's yeah. always been transparent to you. Even if he is evil, he's lawful evil, he's loyal, he's honorable, and stuff like that. But you felt like it's a paranoia that really get into your head. Yeah. And, and when, you know, it's also the fact that, oh, well, when the Lich told you that I get to meet Gargoyle, then I could get answers, especially in, in real life, right? Yeah. So that's what you were looking for. But uh, apparently, you're still here as a human being. Okay. Um, so we have that interaction with him. So he wakes up 
you know, and I'm guessing you're just right next to him, waiting for him to waken. Okay. Uh, what's and his? Then, uh, I'm looking at his wiki. What's uh, what's uh, true name again? Uh, let me type it down. Yeah. If she has a pretty long name, but where is it? I'll put that to the doctor instead. Yeah. Dorian. A stool. That's his full name. Got it. He's one of the first men, so it's very um, it's, it's an Islamic name. Cause that's where they came from. Okay. Uh, that's where that's where I got the idea from. Edmund will not uh show that he recognizes him. Okay, and then uh, Techman wakes up and his eyes open, the, the, his eyes like wide open towards you, and then in shock, and then he looks at you, Edmund, I can't believe I'd see you again. This last day, she, she got me. I thought I was strong enough, but I fell for his trap. And, you know, he kind of sits up in bed and tries to look at you better, but he knows you. He remembers you. Um, Edmund shakes his head and then uh, he looks over his shoulder towards uh, is Rayscale watching? <laughs> oh, yeah, Rayscale there. Two of you are there. Okay. Edmund will say um what did look, you look, so he, kind of, he kind of interrupted you while you're thinking okay look Edmund Ask me this. He, he set you up the lich the attack everything he he planned it that the devil that Pete seemed to kill in hell it wasn't me it was one of his generals his name is Zamer it was a trap to get one of your soldiers to come so they can get rid of him and you prevailed just like I thought you would but I couldn't get to you I couldn't save you and I couldn't stop this from happening it's Asmodeus, he has my family. And even though they're dead, he has the capability of bringing him back. And just the thought of it, it's him telling me to, uh, that he can bring him back. It allured me, and I fell for his trap. He manipulated me, cursed me, and cut me off from you. It's not powerful. But now I know that he's scared. I, mm. I know that's why he's doing all of this. He, he's scared of whatever's after him. We should never trust him. Never make the same mistake I did. Also, David Frayd, your commander, he's alive. He's the last thing I saw before I came crashing in here. Oh my god. The the previous leader of the Order of the yeah. Hammer, right? I think leader commander, yes. Oh and when I was the beast fiend. Asmodeus was controlling me through that. And now he set me free, but to be honest, I'm just thinking that it might be part of his plan too, of me being here. Oh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, so Gargaus, or real name uh, Tur Turayan, it's called Torian. Torian. Uh, was the pit fiend that we were fighting last session? Yep. Yep. Oh shit. So Asmodeus corrupted him enough to to to, to put in that so technically that okay. you know, they have they have control over their, their human form and their mortal form, right? Okay. But technically some devils have the capability have the capability to corrupt them towards their more primal form. Which is in this case, um he, uh, Gargoyle's ranking is technically a demigod devil, right? So it's technically a speed scene. So that will be he's translated his primal form. Okay. Wow. So technically, speed fiends are just made to destroy and wreck everything. And right, that's right. why he was sent down there. Yeah. Right, right. So so... Technically, devil's made of malice, like pure destruction. Uh, Edmund will shake his head. Uh, he will look at Torian and say, what strength do you have right now? Will you be able to help us? I have the strength of my previous life. Well, technically the, the first one before my family. Technically when I was living last, not that one. That, that I have. Mm. Uh, I'm a master's bladesman and I can help you in fights. Well, we are, 
we have things to do, and if you would like to help and take revenge on Asmodeus, you're welcome to help us. But, and Edmund would lean in close and pick uh, pick him up from the ground because you said he was he sat up, but he's not like... Yeah, in bed. He sat up in bed because he's, he's in the infirmary right now. All of you are. Oh, he's in the in infirmary. infirmary. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, in the infirmary uh, of the kingdom. Edmund will, no, lean, no. will lean down uh, closer to Torian and, he say, and then he will say, but if you sow as much... If you so as much as point a knife at me, you will regret it. It looks at you so like I was expecting a lot worse actually, Edmund. But you killed me right here and then. It's, it's an honor to serve you right now after everything you've been through. Hmm. Edmund will just scoff and he will say, you are you remain alive for I still think you may still you may be of use. And then he kind of just like you know puts his more his arms and wide and just like really Edmund after everything we've been through, I'm just still a tool to you. Especially after everything we've been through. Fair enough. And then he sits down and just like contemplates about what's what has happened so far. But you know he he knows everything that has happened. He was yeah. lucid when he was manipulated by um. I mean yeah he know he saw everything that Asmodeus was doing. But okay. yeah, as what you said, this could have been a plan of Asmodeus as well. So yeah. Um. While you guys talk and stuff like that, Zufrain knocks on the door. So Zufrain is actually an elf. He he has golden hair. Mm. Um, a golden dragon. His he is human. Very pale skin. His human yeah, form. His human form. Uh, his mortal. Yeah. I don't know. It's more no harm, yeah. <laughs> uh, technically, it's when it's when a dragon polymorphs itself. Like you know, as human beings, we like to cast polymorphs so we can become dragons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Technically, they polymorph themselves so they become human yeah, beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in the world of form, yeah. So the elf walks in. He has golden hair, um, spiky long ears, but his eyes are different color. It's very emerald-like, uh, like the gem. And he's wearing humble, you know, commoner clothes. And he said, "Edmund, welcome." Um, the king has sent me, and well, it takes time for us to go if you want to make it through that eight day deadline that we have. You briefed me about that. Indeed. There's no. a second day, by the way. Okay, so six days left. So, yeah, uh, technically six days left before the portal becomes permanent. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. So, remember the fifth day, um, you're going to have lack of higher level spells, technically level 9 spells, level 9 to level 8, so you can't cast those by the 5th day. Okay. Yeah, and then the 6th day, you can't cast level 7 to level 6 spells, and Got then it. the 8th day is technically, you know, the end of all things, so yes. probably, probably, assuming that it will be there. Alright? So, the frame is just like, we should get going, it's the middle of the day, it's a nice weather. We cannot face the devils and demons that are sieging the walls right now. Indeed, let us be on our way. Alright, and uh, what do you call this? Florian is just like, can I at least have a couple of weapons before I go? Uh, are there like any guards or any like there's or, a guard. <laughs> There's or, a guard with a long sword and, you know, some half plate. Uh, Edmund will point at him and he will say, okay. he will say, you there. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, he will, <laughs> Edmund will say, you there. You surrendered your, your life and your service for the crown, yes? And for the world? Yes, sire. Of course. And thank for the king. Well, right now, the king demands that you strip naked and give us your weapons. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> they kind of just like, know you're Edmund and what you did in the fighting. He, he's not going to argue, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of just like, go down his long sword and just like, take out his armor. But he, he just strip off naked, you know, he has his clothes, like yeah, his yeah, commoner's yeah. clothes. Yeah. Under, yeah, his undergarments. You know, he, yeah, other garbage. Yes, like okay. he wants to leave some dignity behind. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. It's like, you know, it's like, please, for the king. And then he offers it to Thorian. And it's like, geez, Edmund, if I knew you had this much power, I would have asked for more. And then he, he borrowed stuff. 
And yeah, um, you go to the field, open field, uh, near the near the palace, you know, near the garden area. Yeah. And uh, Zufrain stands there, and he says, "Step back for a bit." We do. And then you do that, and then all of a sudden, blinding light just covers you, Ray's tail, and Thorian's eyes. As he start, it's just a, it's just a flash, you know, almost like five seconds of just. Uh, transformation. It's not like one of those weird things where they metamorphosize into it. It's more of just like, like a distant yeah, yeah. thing. And then all of a sudden, this golden dragon appears before you, majestic. There's actually gems on his skin. Mm. Um, I got a bit of meta meta knowledge here, but the gems actually indicate how old they are. And right. There's about a thousand or so gems on him, on his on his skin. So, so he's an uh, ancient dragon. But he's pretty ancient. Yeah, okay. it's pretty ancient. So he looks at you and says, Edmund, climb in. It's time for us to go. It's more telepathic talking, actually. It's not like boring or anything. Okay. It's just talking telepathically. Uh, Edmund gets on, I don't know, like up his tail or like his wings are down to let us climb yeah, up. Uh, you, you, can, you can climb up the wings. Okay, uh, okay. Rachel, by the way, he's kind of just like not talking to you telepathically for unknown reasons. I guess he has to read the Ray Scale. Oh, yeah, because Ray Scale's yeah, mind is being, scary. Yeah, it's kind of aberration field, so there's that. <laughs> so he'll talk to you probably if he really needs to, but not like, not like right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. um, so you start flying through this. Uh, you you have a good look before you leave of the kingdom, and actually, believe it or not, well, you, you have to believe it because I'm the DM. Um, the demons and devils are just sending a couple of squads into the walls, getting them killed, but they're not pushing in all their forces, which you can see from now. And mm. the ballistas aren't even shooting at you. You're kind of in range, mm. like maximum range of the ballista, but they're not shooting at you. It's like as if they're letting you go. So that's what they're seeing right now. Um, no, not seeing this. Of course, they didn't see like a bird's eye view. So this is only information that's old for you guys. Okay. And uh, you enter the clouds and start flying there. It's pretty cold, but you know, you keep to warm yourself. And about a day's travel, you needed some help in finding the village. Even if you're in the sky and everything, you need you need a, you need someone to guide you. And a man approaches you. Uh, some villagers call him to be their hero. For previous years, uh, many years ago, decades ago, he has saved them from uh, multiple moments of strife and crises. And this hero's name is Edgar Allan Poe II. Edgar, would you like to introduce yourself? Wait, where did they see me? Uh, they, 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 they're, they're looking for the Rikers village, technically. Um, technically, you're the hero of that village. And they encounter you looking for that particular village. And of course, you can't miss a giant dragon in the sky. Whole brain yeah. towards, you know. Yeah, I'm like seeing that dragon getting ready to fight. I notice its color. It's like, okay, that's probably not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just all enough. From, from, your, from your time in college and university, even if how far you were, you came from such a long way. Yeah, Edgar actually went to the College of Bards in. University. Is it Damascus? Are you a Damascus fan or are you a First Crucible fan? I think I would have gone to Damascus. Okay, so, alright, alright. So, University of Damascus, you graduated your college there. And they talk about dragons quite a bit, you know, which are the bad ones, which are the good ones, and stuff like that. Alright. Um, you were actually making your way out, noticing that being the hero you are, you just have that, you know, the spidey sense knowing that something strong is happening. And also the fact that there were some demons directly in front of your uh, village, which you just purged just a couple of days ago, and that doesn't sound good. Uh, and a dragon landing on a field could board some answers, and out of curiosity, that's where you met these guys. Uh, and now you can introduce yourself to them. All right. I'm the hero of this village, so I say, Hail there, what brings you over here? Lufrain uh, telepathically talks to Edmund and is like, Edmund looks like one of the inhabitants nearby. It's worth asking him some questions. Uh, Edmund will just think, you speak of this one, referring to Ed yes. Edgar. That one. The one with the hat. The weird hat. <laughs> uh, Edmund, will, Edmund will think, 
What questions might those be? Well, we're kind of lost here, actually. <laughs> We're looking for the village, you can see it from the sky. What village are we looking for? Riker's village. Riker's village, okay. Edmund will... In the Umbral Passage region. No, Umbral, okay. Yeah, Ed... Exactly, you know you're in the Umbral Passage region, but you don't know where the village is. Okay, Edmund will say... Uh, Edmund will say... Hail as well. Um, we... We are looking for Riker's village. Do you know of it? Do I know of it? Uh, yeah, you know of it. Uh, it's hard to see. You know that it's hard to see from the sky. Compared to your... I don't know what your village name is, but you can put whatever name you have in your village. Compared to your village, which is, you know, in the open field, Riker's village is very much deep into the forest. I see. I tell him, you won't be able to get there on that thing. You gotta do it by foot. Is it nearby? It's pretty close. It's close enough. Do you know where to go? I know where to go. I'll yeah, make sure you the way. A couple of times. You met the mayor a couple of times. He, he gave you some money. <laughs> he gave uh, me some gold. Money. And do, you, do you promise to tell us if we're lost? You have to tell us. In case that happens. Why, why wouldn't I do that? After all, I kind of know who you all might be. Actually, do I know who they are? <laughs> you just know there's a golden dragon. That's all you know. Sadly, there, there hasn't been newspapers, so there, there's no newspapers at this time, so you wouldn't know who these guys are. But, well, I yeah, still there's... say that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that makes, that makes sense for a folk hero like you. Uh, uh, Edmund, uh, Edgar says that, and Edmund will say, well, in that case, you know why we are here. We require your assistance to lead us to the Riker's village. It is of the utmost importance. All right, then. Follow me. <laughs> just, okay. okay. And then you, you dismount the dragon, and then Lufrain telepathically talks to Edmund and just say, I'll keep an eye out, just in case. And then it flies up. Uh, and Okay. Yeah. With you, he has a cool old samurai old hat. That's a guard that is his previous life. Back to his first previous, well, second previous life because he did have two previous lives. And cool. he follows you, you know, quietly. Um, but of course, kind of complained about the fact that riding a dragon for a whole entire day is very uncomfortable, especially yeah. how spiny it is. Uh, yeah. But yeah, aside from that, Torian, no Torian is lagging behind. No, he's following you behind. Uh, Edmund will slow down so Torian is like passes him oh, and the then yeah, okay, yeah, and yeah. tells him walk in front of me. I do not want you to be behind. All right, and then he says, <laughs> "Okay, Edmund, understandable." And he walks in front of you. Okay. All right. So as we this morning, you know, we started the morning. You you had decent rest. Even did you did fly out about the dragon, there is a what they call this. You know, you 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 have some sort of because he does not ride a dragon because there's there's spikes in it and stuff. So you had like what do you call it on those horses, like a saddle of sorts, like yeah. a mini saddle. Yeah. So you can rest in them because the dragon's huge, like it's a huge thing. Like three guys could fit in it with no problem. Yeah. So you're able to get some rest there. Um. So you shouldn't worry about that part. But you know, halfway through about twelve noon. You were able to walk yourself towards the Rikers village. And um, let's go to good old, I would invite you now to Owlbear. All right. Owlbear. Owlbear. That's why we're not sponsored by Owlbear. Um, we're just saying <laughs> we're open. <laughs> uh, I'm, still, I'm still thinking of a name for the village, truth be told. <laughs> yeah, you, that's your village. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to Riker, by the way. This is your village. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Riker. Oh, Riker. There's the password stats. I thought you said, "Oh shit!" You did say death. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason for that. Um, I forgot <laughs> how do you, how do you put grids? But we can, you don't need grids because you can just measure it quite easily. Um, but how do you put um, grids in this thing? Yeah. You have to set it in. You have to set it in the adding map phase, I think, ah. or somewhere there. Yeah. That works. Okay. Let me see. Um. 
Because you don't need a grid, you can just measure how far you can go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, so we don't need to do that. Yeah, so are you guys okay with just measuring and stuff like that? Uh, ko an lang. Cool. Add lang the grid. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how exactly. I haven't tried That's, that yet. How so here, here, here. Now let me show you. So... Alright. Yeah, which uh, screen? This one, show it to me. and then... This one... I let should... Let me have a look. Yeah, at the... <laughs> Wait, Wait, there, folks. Uh, this one. And okay, so the 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 map thing, the map tool. Yeah, the map thing. Yeah, import the map. Oh wait, the map tool on the side, right? Yeah. And then okay. there's a pencil icon on the map that you want to edit. Pencil icon. Uh is it a pencil or oh yeah, found it. Yeah. And then oh, that's my nickname. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then draw on the side. And then draw a grid. Uh, you make sure that it's ticked, the box, and Ooh. then save. Can you do that right now? I can still seem uh, to find it. I put it in Sedos Run, but Sigi, I'll share my screen. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me have a look at the Sedos as well. Okay. Ah, there it is. So edit map. Ooh. Oh, okay. Let me let me check that out. Give me a second. Um, and abandoned village. Um, how do I do that? No, you ah, don't. Okay, so I'm top. Found it, found it, found it, found it. Found oh, it. Cool. Snap the grid. Draw a grid. Draw a grid. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that should be. That's actually what the grid I wanted. Uh, grid scale, five feet. Perfect. Cool. And let me just click that one. Oh, let me delete this one first. All right, back to all issues, but we should be oh. good. Oh I yeah, the, there it is. There's, there's mm -hmm. a character's near the well. You guys are near the well, by the way. Okay. Alright, put your tokens there. Oh, I should put the Turian, because Turian's got me up in the air. He's a fighter. Nice. Do we do it. need a fighter. <laughs> yep. Um, so if you move here, you don't need to do a perception check, because... Oh wait, no, actually... You could do a stealth check. Uh, you have to do perception check. Um, uh, with Edgar, because you're familiar with this place, you know, whole surf territory. So you do perception okay. check. Perception. Not terribly good at that. That's a nine total. Oh yeah, this doesn't give me any information. All right, this is just quiet, but people have been quiet for quite some time, considering the, you know, the demon problem that you've been handling for the past few days. All right, so you're free to explore the village. At this moment. Okay. Uh, Edmund just Edmund just tells Bartok to explore. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that's a good part. So Bartok goes there. Oh, Bartok needs a perception check there. Okay. They might do perception check. Mercy perception. Uh, imp. Oh, natural uh, one. <laughs> Two. No, nothing. Mark Park ain't saying nothing. Mark Park's like, nothing here, and I don't think there's anything here up there, side. Alright. <laughs> Edmund just... trust him completely. Yeah, Edmund just believes him, okay? I mean, because if he, if he gets shit wrong, he's gonna get punished, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there you go. So, so far, the village looks clear enough, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, Bartok... I continue going up north then, because yeah, the coast seems clear. Dark. Yeah, the coast seems clear. Okay, uh, give me a second. Uh, but yeah, move your characters up forward to the building where you want to go. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> oh, okay, stop there, Edgar. Where's everyone else? I, um... Edmund's still there. <laughs> oh, so, oh my god, you assholes. Okay, throw you in here. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm going to want to just go alone and just get yourself killed. So the moment I had gone back, I had to the bottom of you stay there. Uh, yeah, because like, nothing seems wrong right now. Alright, so Edgar, the moment you walk by there, the, the, the ground seems to be shifting. And all of a sudden, the wall in front of you just collapses, like something bites through it. About bigger than you, like, hmm, how big is it? Oh, it's about as big as you are, but taller and bulkier. What? And oh shit! It's an armored knight with a very, very, very um, evil energy emanating from him. 
I think you've encountered this motherfucker before. Oh, sorry. Maybe in a, in, a, in a previous life, you know? <laughs> in a previous life. And he got surprise attack on me. Uh, alongside the two other rates that came down from the ground behind. Oh, wait, no, it's a rates. They can go through your body. So they pop out right in Edmund. One rates. That will do that. He's right oh, on top of you. Yeah. And rate number two. And they all get surprise attacks on you. Because you guys hold shit. Alright, so um, uh, you might as well roll initiative at this point. Yep. Yeah, may as well. No oh. taking time. But they're gonna get three attacks on the three of you. Oh. Um. Mm. Yeah, cool. right, I'll roll my C initiative and dice tray as well for transparency. Oh, he will attack you with his long sword. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> um, that's a twenty-two hit. Oh my god! It sure does. Me, Edgar. Yeah, Edgar. you, Edgar. Yeah, this is a death knight, by the way. Twenty-two, you said. I'm going to, as a reaction, cast shield as I say, arcane defense. But all right, and that, that, that's 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 right? surprised. Yeah. Yeah, you're surprised. This time, this time... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah right, you. you're right. I can't do that. Yeah, you you're can't right. do that. I'm this time, the monsters surprise you. <laughs> no fair of you surprising the monsters. <laughs> so, it will hit. Yeah, yeah so, okay. Uh, one D and... Oh, it's two-handed. Never mind. That's the wrong one. Oh, God. <laughs> That's going to be good. So first of all, you take seven slashing damage. It's magical, just in case you want to know. And that plus, that's not the only one. Oof. You take you an additional. That's a, oh yeah, a dead knight. Or you take an additional seventeen points of necrotic damage. Good job. All right, all right rate one. The other one on top of Edmund is going to attack him with okay. simple life drain. Um, oh, but he misses. He tries to scratch you from the ground, but it doesn't work. So he ends his turn on top of you, so you take a 1d10 force damage. I okay. Oh, he's but, actually on top of me. Okay, yeah, he's literally inside you. Five points of force damage, five damage. and then next up, five, yeah, and next up is um, what's it called? Ray scale 17, yeah. the 17 hit. Uh, I believe it does hit me. Okay, and you can't pass spell because you're surprised. Oh my uh, god! Make I... a make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh... Oh my god! It's almost maximum. Jesus fuck. <laughs> I like the surprise. Uh, I did thirteen. Ah, uh, that, that failed. So you can't reheal this damage. You take 23 points of necrotic damage and you can't heal it until you finish a long rest. Oh my or... god! Not right. necessarily. It's a good thing yeah, I got that spell. Not necessarily. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone come prepared. So I will now roll for their initiatives. All right. I'll report them. That might got... Oh no, just 18, so it doesn't have a dex modifier. Yeah, uh, Raid gets, <laughs> gets uh, 10, Raid 1 gets 10, the one on top of Edmund, and the other right. one gets um, 13. The second one gets 13. Oof. Let me just put a name. This is Zero, Raid 1. Way better. Uh, Raid 2, and DK. Alright, the there DK we go. DK is first. Oh, yeah, I'm DK in trouble. Are oh, you gonna die the first time? Jesus <laughs> Christ! You will actually help our orb the uh, 20 feet radius. Are you if I shoot it right in the well? Oh wait, no, let me roll for Thurian first. Forgot to roll for Thurian. It's not very dexterous. Thurian got five. Aw, oh, dude, he's last, right? Yeah, he's last, yeah. Uh guy's gonna help our orb. Um I wanna look at the radius first. 20 feet radius, maybe in the middle. How do I check? Yeah. That? He's not casting a spell, so I can't even do anything about this. Yeah, you can't, sadly. Where's the radius tool? 
Um, it's a circle thing, right? In the draw tool. I'm looking at it. Here, okay, yeah. there we go. Um, 20 feet radius. So that's not, that's 5 feet. 10 feet. Oh, it does hit you, including the, uh, this is 20 feet, right? 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, that's 20 feet. So the rates get hit, technically everyone gets hit except for the DK. Yeah. So that will be, so everyone make a dexterity saving throw. Dude, we're gonna oh. die. <laughs> we'll oh, it. man. Um, yeah, it's dexterity saving throw. Is this a spell or magical effect? That's a magical orb. What? Uh, it is considered to be a spell. Do you have something? It's, it's a magical effect, so I have advantage on that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I got 15. I think I failed. See. Uh, I think you failed. Dexterity, That's right? 18. Yeah, dexterity. Oh he did that advantage. Okay. I think Edgar has advantage also because he has a mantle of spell resistance. Yeah, I think he has. He has advantage. Yeah. I'm gonna read the description on saving throws against spells, not spell-like effects though. Mhm. Mm That's not good. Oh uh, no no this 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 included. You can you can you can do you can use it here. Mm. Okay. It works here. That's safe for Edmund. That's your advantage. All right, it didn't really help, but this might be my death blow, so I have to use it now. I'm going to be using favored by the gods. Okay, use it here. Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna use it now, otherwise I might die. That brings it to 17 total. Oh, not enough. What? So <laughs> yeah, not enough. What? Shit. So you take, for those that fail, take 31 points of fire damage. Oh, oh, that's the fire first. Next that's is the That's it. That's it. Uh, it's just oh, fire okay. damage. This is a nerf that night. <laughs> it doesn't have okay. to feel real fire orb. Um, okay. <laughs> take that too. Let me keep note of that. Oh my god. He used it up, yeah. That's right. They only do that once per day. Yep. Shit. Um, Alright. Uh, that's the end of the Okay, that did not go well at all. You stopped my thing too. Um, Edmund is next, right? Uh, let me also do the race, but you can do your turn, right, Edmund? Because I think the race will fail. Let me see. Mm. Also, have them to actually do this. Um, not the orc have saving throws for this, so it is a plus three for each one of them. The first one failed, idiot. Check it with They both failed. They take 31 points of damage each. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that might go curvy. All right. Um. Yeah, it's your turn, Edmund. Got it. God, this, this race are not loaded. Really they kind of screamed and got angry at him. So that night, just ignoring them. <clears throat> okay. Come on, boss. <laughs> boss, <laughs> what are you doing, boss? First, Edmund is gonna. <laughs> hey, delete the rage link. Thank you. Edmund. No problem. Edmund telepathically is just going to, to scold Bartok, and he's gonna say. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> and, sorry. Uh, first thing, Edmund is gonna uh, with a free action. I think it's I think it's at will just to spend a spell slot to activate his power just take our armor. Mm -hmm. That's level two. So his That's just like it's instant. It's instant. Yeah. So he his AC goes up to twenty four. He has mm -hmm. a movement speed of forty feet, and his strength mm -hmm. is now nineteen. Got it. Uh, so that's done. And then he's going to bonus action cast spiritual weapon mm -hmm. uh, over here. Boosh. The holy hammer. There's the hammer. And mm -hmm. with uh, that will be at a higher level. I think it's fourth level. So I can. So it's a 2d8 now. It mm -hmm. is. Yes, it is fourth level. So let me do there that. And then. Uh, uh, a company uh, like while still in that bonus action after summoning, it's gonna fly and like hit the the wraith on top of me. Mm -hmm. So, cause it's floating, so I think it can. Can it do that? Can holy? Yeah, it it, can, it should be able to reach that. It can float. Yeah. Uh, the wraith is floating, by the way. It's like directly on you. So it's in my space. It is in your space. Yeah. But if, it can hit, the weapon can hit it, but not you. you okay. Know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not, I'm not thinking of it like real life and real life. <laughs> sure, sure. Like it, it's going to identify which one to hit. It's a sure. spiritual weapon. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and then it's going to... Uh, if wait. someone else, like a physical person, attacks you, you will have to attack you. To yeah, get yeah, yeah. But this one is a spiritual weapon, so you yeah. know what I mean. Bartok's right. going to come uh, before the thing attacks it's gonna come down so let me see if he mm-hmm. reaches 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 uh 40 no so if bartok's just gonna go over here and right. then edmund's just gonna keep on scolding him you useless and then, <laughs> and then the That's holy scary. hammer will swing attack so holy hammer without advantage uh, 25 to hit 14 damage on the wraith. Uh, yeah, that hits. So, so 14 damage on wraith one. Up to 45. Yep. And then Edmund's gonna swing again. Uh, 25 to hit 15 damage. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, and then true free action drop shield, and then mm-hmm. swing with both his hands on uh, with uh, the sun fang. Go for it. Same target. So Same sun target. fang. Uh, two-handed. This is two-handed. So two-handed. Fifteen to hit. Twelve damage. Um, that's not a hit. Yeah, it hits. Twelve damage. Cool. So, he, so that brings it f- to... F- Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven, yes. Okay. Uh, oh so that God. is... And then... Uh, object interaction have the dust shield teleport back into his hand. All right, there you go. Uh, shield attack, spiritual weapon. That is the end of Edmund's turn. He stays there. Okay. Menacingly. Right. Uh, just to clarify, since uh, we all know meta knowledge, that rays are supposed to have this advantage on, on daylight, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the problem is that they're not under direct daylight. This is actually under what they call the, the, the trees canopy. Trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Trees canopy stuff like that. So the, the the map doesn't show that, but there are bigger trees around this. So okay. This is just, this is like an X-ray vision. All good. All if good. If we're looking at just a second person or satellite view, all you just see is trees, and we can't yes. play the game that way. Got it. Got it. Unless <laughs> you want to play the game with all trees. Okay. Okay. Um. Next up is uh, Ray 2. Ray 2 is going to scratch a uh, four old Ray scale. He's going to life drain. Oh my He's going to drain your life again. Shit. Yeah. Oh, that also hits 22. Do they have anything, they have anything to stop that? No. <laughs> oh, shaming. You take 30 points of necrotic damage. Oh my god. And you have to do a constitution saving throw. Well, watch me fail this one as well. Where's <laughs> Reese? If you die from just this, this and failing it, you're gonna die. 21. Oh, you I passed. Don't worry. It's not. It's passed. It passes. You're fine. There you go. Um, That's the end of his turn. Uh, also, you take force damage at the end of his turn about you. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's beside me. Force damage. I was looking all around the map where Reese was. All right, that's him. Um, that's the end of rate uh, two turn. Rate one is gonna go for Edmund again. Okay. Uh oh. It's so hard to hit him. Ah, uh, nineteen does not hit. That's the end Miss. of his turn. Right, he has turn on top. He's gonna do force damage. Okay. Four points of force damage on you. Taken. Four. All right. Um. Edgar, it's your turn. Oh shit, I do get the turn. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> yes, you do get a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Mm. Yeah, I might not get a chance to do this. So, I draw my scimitar plus three with my right hand. And I only need that. While I have that drawn, I cast Steel Wind Strike as I flourish my weapon. No oh, need nice. for incantations. Yep. Go for it, buddy. Yeah. Steel Here Wind we Strike, baby. Are they within range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. They're just within range. Look at that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright. They don't have my AC, so I'm pretty sure you're going to hit. <laughs> I wonder what happens when I type cast steel wind strike. What happens? Okay, that didn't work. Oh, 
I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. D20 plus spell modifier. How much are ya? Plus 9. Okay. So this is the first attack against the DK. Here we go. 17. I don't think that hits. I uh, go. No, actually, nope. Close enough. Almost hit. Almost there. Oh, oh well, wow. not really. It's kind of there. Alright, next up is the raids. Wraith 1. Ooh. Um, does that hit? I think that hits. Wait, give me a second. Ah, it hits, it hits. Wraith 1 hits. Oof, thank goodness. And then lastly, Wraith 2. This is All plus right. 3, right? Uh, no, this is the spell, so I have to use the spell okay. attack. Yeah. Alright, so how much damage for Wraith 1? That's going to be... Oh, hold on. 17 to hit for Wraith 2 first. Hit two. Yeah, both of them hit from the Wraith. Alright, so 6d10 for Wraith 1. <laughs> 45 damage, is it Oh, dead? Wraith 1's dead. Wraith 1's dead. <laughs> the Wraith is not there. So what, what do we see? How does he die? Um, it's different strike. I think let's do all of it. Hold on. 6d10 for Wraith 2. That's 39 damage. He's to dead that. too. Wraith 2 mm. is dead. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> so what do, right. what do you see? I uh, teleport. Okay, so hold on. What you see is uh, Edgar draws his weapon. He spins it twice around his wrists. Like mm -hmm. once on the right, once on the left. And then as soon as he does that, suddenly a gust of wind goes in all directions, 30 feet away from him at the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. And while that's happening, he suddenly appears next to Edmund and two of the raids are dead. Alright, they're dead. They just yeah. disappear. As they also hear the sound. <laughs> and yeah, they like, hear it. <laughs> <just cut it. laughs> there you go. Alright, what else exactly. do you want to do, Edgar? Okay, that was my action for my bonus action. Oh, well, I can't cast another spell. So, let's see. Did I inspire someone? Yes, okay. I will inspire... I will inspire Turian. Alright, Turian's inspired. And what do you say? Do you say something to him? Oh man, unfortunately I don't have anything to say. Alright, you're just saying, you go on boy, and Tori is so confused. I just met you earlier, but I feel inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. kind of mad, but I feel inspired by you. You're such an inspired person. Hell yeah, right. and I tip my hat. And before I end my turn, I actually right. go it's back a bit. Hat. It's a tip of the hat that got him. That inspired him really, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's the one All that right. got him. Five... Uh, oh, you know what? I'll actually go a bit ahead, because yeah, I didn't use a bonus action spell. Five, ten, and that's where I end my turn. All right, there you go, buddy. Okay, that was an excellent turn. Go ahead, Rayscale. Rayscale, your turn. So okay, so raids are dead. Do I have a clear view of the of the Death Knight? Ah, uh, yeah. You can go to the left a bit. Okay, or, I'll go. Or, 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 or something. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 there you go. That's a clear view. Clear-ass view. Clear-ass view. Almost I'll have, like Dark Knight. Like, oh, is it the Dark Knight? No, it's Death Knight. <laughs> I guess it, it is a discount Death Knight. It's more of like a... It's a Dark Knight, I guess, and call it that way. It's a discount <laughs> Death Knight. A, a, die, a, a dying knight. Yeah, it, it, okay, yeah, we could go with dying knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, I take my, uh, I have, uh, Wand of Magic Missile, so, with my action, I will cast Magic mis Missile at the third level at this guy, so... Right, so how many missiles left, so I can do the damage? Five, five missiles. Okay. And all the damage for you? Okay, so... He gets 19 points of force damage. Got it. Place there, 19 points of damage. So you get all of your action, you grab your wand, then you shoot it. All right. And for my for my bonus action, I will quicken spell my uh, my is it sixth level? My sixth level spell, which is mental prison on the oh, death. Nice. All right. I have to roll for that, right? Is that wisdom? 
It's an intelligence. Oh, intelligence. Okay, these guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> well, I just they're, they're kind of okay. They're smart enough. They're smart enough. They're, they're like, they used to be human beings. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, he failed, I'm guessing. 13. Oh, wow. He... Uh... Wow, I did. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, he's not already got advantage! Oh, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is. No, 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 no. This is just dark. It's a discount that night. It doesn't have that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, he does, oh, yeah, he doesn't have spell resistance. It's a discount that okay. night. Well, what happens is since he failed, he will. Not only will he take 5d10 psychic damage, but mm -hmm. the area around him will be covered in an illusion of uh, of giant blinking eyes on him. Ooh, and that is creepy as fuck. <laughs> that is creepy. If he enters into the area where the illusion is, if he touches the eyes, he will... Well, something will happen. But, yeah. Uh, but basically... Like, anyone who entered that radius is fine. It's just him. Just him, just him. And okay, no okay, one okay, else... Yeah. Illusion, only him. So, yeah, okay. got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, something will happen if he enters, if he touches the illusion. But yeah, as of now, he also falls has the restrained condition as well. Oh, it's restrained. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, all right. That's nice. So, give me the damage first, though. That's yeah, so nice. D10 is a surprise, so let's roll that. Go for it. Okay. That's 32 points of psychic damage. Nice. <laughs> so, all of a sudden, there's a zap in this guy's mind. You know the crazy thing about Ray Scale? The scariest thing about him is that you know he's damaging someone, but you can't see it. <laughs> 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 you know, it's all psychic shit, so you don't see it happening. And that's like that, like a zap in his head. He feels it. Truly feels it. But yeah, he's still there, but he's restrained. He can't move. Like, it's more it's not, like, you know, like, uh, what they call it, he's stuck in, he's stuck in movement, like he's frozen in time or something. That's how it looks like right yeah. now. <laughs> he's under, like, some genjutsu where he just sees, yeah, like... Yeah, exactly, the genjutsu, yeah. It's like out of a Junji Ito manga where they're just floating eyes looking at him, you oh, know. Oh, God, that's so creepy. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, I will use my movement to hide here. Can I hide? No, I mean, just be here. Is there a yeah. wall here? Ah, uh, that's a tree, and uh, there's a fence, so that's technically, um, that's fine, yeah. There's a tree okay. hiding you there. I oh, can put it here, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, and then uh, turn. That ends my turn, yes. Alright. Uh, this clarification, level 12 fighter gets three, ex gets three extra attacks, right? Technically two extra attacks, so he can attack three times. Yeah. If I recall correctly, I'm checking his stat sheet. Why is there only one extra attack? Oh, three attacks. Yeah, here we go. No, no, you can attack three times. Okay. okay. Cool, 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 cool. For the rest of you guys, um, your attack rolls have advantage, and uh, yeah, because he's just staying there. And gives this advantage. So yeah. All right. So Torian looks at Edmund and is like, "I'm gonna prove myself to you." Flew. Everyone stole this discounted that night. You know, put PKK in that, and he's gonna attack him two times. The right style. Let's see. Uh, how much is his attack? That is a plus 10 to hit. With an advantage, huh? Oh yeah, advantage. Woo! Let's see if he can start farming them bricks. Nah. Um, three attack hit though. That is. What? Three attack hit, three attack hit. Okay. <laughs> That's a plus fucking 8? What the f- Why is this a plus 8? <sighs> Where's he getting his plus 8 from? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm so confused with this character I just made. It's on each attack? Wait, someone. <laughs> Wait, hold up. That should be a plus six. Is this a plus five? Ah, no, he has dueling. Oh my god, he has dueling. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with me? That's where it came from. There so it's eight times three is... How much is eight times three? Eight, 16, 24. Oh my god, that's a plus 24. He takes 38 points of damage just from that. 38? Oh, yeah. Man. All right, let's skip it up. 38, right? And you will action surge and attack him three times again. Oh, my God. Oh. With advantage. Um, um, 9, 19. That's not it. We'll need the short stuff for this. Holy crap. Two attacks hit. 
DM, I wanna say, while this is happening, Edmund is just looking at Bartok like angrily. And he's not paying attention. <laughs> Bartok is like kind of ignoring you and just staring at Thorian fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Edmund doesn't know what's happening. He's going everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he takes another 29 points of damage. Oh. Another 29. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, how much damage is he taken overall? 89 plus 29, plus 29. 118. Oh, dang, okay. This, this is not the dead level for it. Um, what? Crazy. Uh, anything else can you do? Anything else can you do, Torian? You need the samurai. Yeah, you don't need that. You just need to attack him. That's all you need to do right now. That's it, it's turn. Alright, it's back to back the to death on white. Okay, um, Death Knight's gonna attack. No, no, he's not gonna attack. You cast spell was well restrained. That's true. Destructive waves. Let's see how big that is. What's the radius of destructive oh, wave again? Crap. Um, wait, he's casting a spell, right? Do I have yep. line of sight yep. on him? Ah, uh, yeah, you do. Alright, then I will flourish my. I lock my scimitar in front of his face, and actually, since it's a curved blade, I actually make my blade do an uppercut sort of thing, and then while it's uppercutting, it's like a beam of light is heading towards the DK de while he's casting a spell to foil his spell. Alright, so do you, do you roll for that, or it just stops it? I'm going to roll for it, because I casted that at third level. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Go for it, buddy. How much color you want for right. the DC? Yeah, I'll let you know after I roll d20 plus spellcasting ability, so 5. 19, baby! Oh, so, that's, so what's the DC for that? Fire is 8 plus something, right? What is that? It's a level uh, of the spell. The DC is 10 plus the spell's plus, level. Yeah, no, that, that completely dissipates it. So what happens if DDK um, smashes his sword down to the ground, casting destructive waves? Nothing comes out. And the DDK kind of just like moves his head, tilts his head a bit, surprised at what happened. And that's the end of his turn. I know, right? He doesn't even see me do it. He can yeah, only see you. the mental prison. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, are the eyes stopping me? <laughs> what do you do? Alright. Edmund, it's your turn. <clears throat> Edmund is going to five. Um, move. What is this? Is this a fence or like a building that's crumbling? So if you're passing through the fence, right? The fence mm. thingy, that will be uh, rough terrain. Back of yeah, the yeah. it's spent like double action, uh, double of his movement going there. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, Edmund can make it all the way here because of his power just the car armor. Yeah, it's just like fucking Iron Man. <laughs> 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 uh... However, the Holy Hammer won't make it 5, 10, 15, 20. Just stay there. What a uh, nerf. What a nerf to spread your weapon. So stupid, right? <laughs> it's, it's just like 20 feet? Oh, no. Uh, that sucks. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Bartok will, however, fly in. Help action. Give Edmund a bad right, advantage. Yeah, that's a bad uh, right there. So to clarify, actually, then the future campaigns, the future... Uh, that's just how I'll be doing. He can't do this with a spiritual weapon, but he can do it with a living person. Okay. Because help and helping, the helping action says that he has a creature, and okay. I define a creature to have to have hit points. The spiritual weapon does have hit points, so I don't yes. consider it a creature. But Noted. in this campaign, we will still be using it since I already implemented that rule earlier. No, okay? it's okay. We can revert back to the original rule. Okay, okay. So yeah, only yeah. creatures, creatures will be... Um, Technically, people with hit points, you know? Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. there you go. So, Bartok helped. Uh, free action, true free action, drop my shield to mm -hmm. double handed w a swing with a sun fang. Okay. Uh, with advantage. So, two handed, oops, not, not 20 handed, two handed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20 25 to hit 16 damage. Yeah. So 16, 16 damage. damage. There you go. 16. Uh, let me check. Let me check. One hit. Oh no. 
Uh, 16 plus 18, 130. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you want to exactly help? How do I want to do? Oh my god. Yeah, do you, do so, so like, Turian is just like going to town with like six yeah. attacks in that one <laughs> round. Like, yes, yes, yes. Like samurai style and shit. Yeah, and then Edmund is just not paying attention, looking at Bartok, like scolding him telepathically. Edmund finally mm-hmm. looks over at the 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 discounted death knight and then sees that sees that sees, sees Turian not finishing him and then Edmund is just like fine I'll do it and then he just goes and then just yeah. with one with, with with one swing decapitates the death knight and then the, the, it rolls over and yeah. look he looks at Turian and then just rolls his eyes and Turian just said I already got it you know still my kill <laughs> And then just wipes off the blood from his blade and sheets it. As you are now out of combat. Um, um, the reason why he's at the start of that night, you've noticed, Edmund, um, that he's already very much wounded. Ah. And the fire orb that he has, which you can't use because it's cracked now, um, is also has been kind of used from the arcane essence that it used. So technically, it's been used once already. Okay. So it is forced to use it. That's why... Um, he was only fire damage. So Edmund will say uh, to the rest of the party, it seems this death knight was already spent when he faced us. Uh, I yep. fear there might be another party uh, that came here earlier. And then Thorian is just like, uh, you mean those guys? And pointed inside the house and there are a decent amount of dead people inside, mostly dwarves. Here? Oh, uh, dude. Edgar, you check, you check that house too at the side. Yeah, there's a lot of dead people there. Edgar. Oh my god! They're Do you like think all they're dead. Okay? They're dead. <laughs> they're not okay. Edgar, <laughs> you know the village. The village isn't of dwarves. Like it's, it's very much like men and elves, but no dwarves. All right. I informed the party about that. This seems highly unusual. Yeah. No, it's not. Dwarves can live wherever they want. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, forget about that. Maybe you should check their bodies. Yeah, that's a good idea. And okay. he starts checking their bodies. Okay, you can do an investigation check. Oh, that's again not my strong suit. Here we go. Uh, all of you can do that if you want to do check the bodies. I'll check the bodies. Oh, that's not bad. 19. That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, Edmund, what do you want to do? Just wait. Oh, okay, you're just like... letting, you're letting your minions do your job. You <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so you got 19 and you got a what? 16. Okay, that's, uh, we'll give the first one to, um, what's his name? Uh, Ed, uh, Edgar? God, there's so many Eds. Uh, Edgar. <laughs> So with your 19, you notice one of these guys still breathing inside uh, that house. He's just still breathing a bit, but it's like, you know, like, uh, by the end of his life, like he's dying because there's some blood, there's blood coming out of him, pouring. And for, um, nice what do you call it? it? Yeah, he can. Sure. He's still, he's, he, he, if we put it in mechanical terms, he has one hit point left. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, for race scale, or race scale, you know, you were able to grab, you could check one of the pockets of, of the dwarves, and, you know, that's the first thing you check since you've been experienced to where to find useful items. You are completely not grave robbing, though, just saying. <laughs> and you were able to find yourself a map of sorts, to some sort of a catacombs area, an underground place. I wow, mean, okay. it's not grave robbing if there's no grave. Yeah, there's, there's no grave, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, uh, Edgar? You wanna, you wanna cure it, Uh, yeah, I'm going to use a first level cure wounds on him. Do they have a first aid kit or medicine pack or something? Oh, I didn't buy any of that. Well, well shit, you know, you do have the cash now. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I, I do. The... Okay, I'd so you... do that. Right, how much are you healing for? Let's see, D8 plus 5. That's a minus. Oh my oh. god, I rolled a 1, 6. That's fine, that's enough to heal him. He's just an, he has 15 health. So he kind of just like... <laughs> and he saw your face and then grabs your kind of collar. He's just like, who are you? <laughs> and 
Edgar Allan Poe. I came uh, here to guide some people. Who are you? Uh, I need water. Water. Please. All right. I give him some water then. All right, and then he greedily drinks the water from your know, pantheon and passes it to you. Ugh, they came at night. Ugh, fucking bastards. Ugh, I need some. I need some time to collect myself, lad. I would be careful. Careful out there. So he, he's exactly telling that you know he needs a couple of minutes to recompose himself. He, I he need was a couple just, of minutes to recompose myself. He was just like, a short rest. Yeah, okay, give him a short rest. He was just like inches from that like a second ago. And you just brought him back, so. You guys want to do a short rest? Okay. And we, oh my god. A I'm short so rest is, is 30 to uh, between 1 and 30 minutes, okay? All so right. you can roll your, burn your dice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Get your health back, you know. The thing, the thing is, this isn't gonna heal my life drain. It needs to be a long rest. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be a long rest. Before that, I go to you and I'm like, you don't look so well. Let me take care of you. Yeah, okay. the ghost did something. Greater, greater restoration! Yeah, and... Oh, man, that's gonna be my other 5th level spell slot, but it's well, worth it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because you're gonna get information that will tell you that it's worth it. <laughs> and alright, so I sing the song. Dream of greater restoration. Oh god. Give me Dream of greater restoration. <laughs> 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 you gotta try to stop. <laughs> I guess I guess. Sing that song. Yeah, you get one. Right. You, I mean, get your dice. Get 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 your reroll. Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> all right, my dude. <laughs> inspiration again, baby. You got and, that inspiration, um, dice. Basically, Raph, you regain your maximum hit points, or not your max hit well, yeah. points. Yeah, I have like ability you, to reroll it. Yeah. yeah, you get your ability to heal it back now. Nice. I. Ray Skill says, like, thank you so much for healing me. I'd like to thank you by giving you this. And then he gives you a potion of growth. Aww. Aww. What? So kind. Are you serious? Oh, Call, calling you short. I was, <laughs> I, was, I was halfway through my HP, so it's like this, this you know, fair trade. Yeah, it's worth it. Fair trade. Yeah. I know. I spent a hundred gold for you, friend. Good job. Yeah, and I spent how much is this? Three hundred or something gold. <laughs> that is true. There you go, man. Oh, even is even. <laughs> I, I advise you, like I'd advise you, to drink this in our next battle. What are you rolling, DM? <laughs> uh, no, I'm rolling. I'm rolling for Dorian because he's all the day short rest. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, it's for initiative because I'm gonna kill you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> you oh think, my God. Wait, it's so weird. You know? <laughs> what the fuck are you rolling for? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Stop, like, rolling, man. What are these numbers for? <laughs> what do they mean? <laughs> okay. Alright, so, um, and you guys wanna role play a bit or what's up? Or you wanna move on? I'll give um, you guys an option. I do because I'm still healing up right now. <laughs> yep. Oh man, D8 plus 2. Oh Start my goodness. Burning through I'm not dice. rolling that crazy. Start burning through your hip dice, boys. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, I, I think, think we'll I I only need to roll I I only need to roll lower. I less dice because of my cuz I treat each hit die as full if I'm healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, let me do 8 plus 8 plus Sorry, and it's yeah, freaking. Is there any healing? That's so nice, dude. Sorry, and expanded half a shit back already. <laughs> that looking good. All right, the healing eight. And then I took. Okay, so seven. Oh wait, no. Fuck. Uh, DM. So I only spend three hit dice uh, instead of four. And my rolls. <laughs> Yeah, you're all sapping shit. But, you know, at least Edmund only had to spend that much. <laughs> you're also been terrible. Alright. That's true. Um, okay, everyone... Eight. 
I am almost there. I'm going uh, to use my D6 okay. this time. I recover oh, a fourth level uh, pact. Uh, yeah, four level pact, pact spell, yeah. yeah pact slot, right. okay. Yeah. That That's makes it. sense. That is it. Alright, dude, I spent a total of seven hit dice. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stick. Just trying to heal 31 damage. Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh, um, dude. So, how's everyone doing? Edmund's uh, fine. I'm looking way better. Um, Pearl of Power can only recover up to the third spell, so I'll use it now. May as well. Go recover it. I use it now. Yeah. Okay. So, you asked if we could roleplay, yeah? I say. My goodness, that was a crazy ambush. How did all of us not see that coming? Yeah, you're all pretty low. question because it was an ambush. <laughs> you know, you know part of all you need to roll like a, like a 12, right? <laughs> yeah, know, a like natural that. one. <laughs> Our friend guy need to roll like 17 because he wasn't in the right angle, but Bartok was like legit there and he was invisible. Yeah. You rolled a big one. What the fuck? <laughs> One plus Useless. <laughs> but uh, Edmund does uh, look at Edgar with like a mean look and then says, You said you were familiar with these parts. Um, were you, yes, did, indeed. Were you not aware of these monsters and these creatures appearing here? They're not from here, are they, DM? I don't know. Like these creatures. Yeah, and I should say that the dwarf kind of like regains composure and this says, Thank you, laddie, for that healing. I needed that. And then, like, gives you a pat on the back. All right, who the hell are you, boys? My name is, uh, uh let me tie down his name just in case. Okay. Name, uh, put down the doctor chat. If you guys put down the list, so his name is Arthur. 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 Fucking shh. You know what? I'll spell it that way because I've been spelling a U, but what's coming out is a Y. And I'm like, why are you doing this? I'm sick of tired. I need to So it's like Arthur. Arthur, Arthur Greybeard. Greybeard. Ooh. I'm from, I'm, the, I'm from the Frontier Development Corporation and uh, we came here on an expedition, me and the lads. But uh, we got here too late. Well, not too late, but as you've noticed, that thing over there pointing at the dead knight. Uh, came and ambushed us alongside this other laddies. Real, real mean such a bitch. Bloody hell. Anyway. Where did, where did that come from? Uh, from the catacombs. My brother. Uh, what's his name? My brother, Thurveer. Let me type that down. Thurveer. Now that you mentioned it, I did find a map about this catacombs. So... Yes, yes, exactly. My brother, Thurveer. Greybeard is a very experienced fighter and decided to go directly straight for the head, leaving all of us oh. behind. He's blinded oh. by that rage. Uh, uh, lad, and then he looks at In... Edgar. Yeah? Uh, the people, the inhabitants of this village, they're over in that shed there, all of them. Oh my god. So, um, they all I will alive? They're dead. Uh, dead. <laughs> all oh, of them sorry, are dead. that's the other one, the other one. Shit, okay. They're all yeah. The attack with the inhabitants of this village. So these guys are part of the, what you call it, the expedition, okay? Mm. And then technically, like about, there's about 10 of them or so. All of them are dead except for him. And then there's also the remaining inhabitants, it's about 50 or so, are also dead on the other side of, of the, the, this big shed on the side, the one in the rightmost area there. Ah, mm. oh, dude. Okay. Was a, it was a dark night, but my brother, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. He's a strong bastard, he is. Well, this, what are you boys doing here? This expedition, uh, Edmund interrupts. So this, ex this expedition, what were you exploring for? What are you in search of? Are, are you aware of the seat of powers? Uh, Dragon-made structures from a long time ago used to control swaths of population under their command. Are you aware of that? I can't, Are we aware of that? Uh, <laughs> Ed, Edmund will say, I can't say I am, but 
Well, what, anyway, so what of you? One, okay. There's one directly under under this very village, but you have to pass through this catacomb black area. The tower itself it has been destroyed many years ago, thousands of years ago, but the main structures underneath it. That's where our legacy is as dwarves, since we did serve this dragon many years ago, and we're mm. trying to reclaim it. But as you can see, well, that went to hell for us. I lost all of my mates. I'm the only one alive, but my brother is still there. He's, I can feel it. He's still alive. Not, nothing will do him. He's, he's too dumb, stubborn to die. Mm. Uh, DM, is there in, enough... Do we have? Do, does the party have enough to navigate through the catacombs down to the city We have, a, we have, a, have map. a map. Yeah. Is the map well, easy to read, go. or do, does it look yeah, like we need a guide? Really, like it's a sketch and something. You don't need a guide. Okay. Like we've been there before. Okay. Uh. Mm. Are you planning to go to the lands? Are you going down there to the catacombs? Who are you, by the way? You have not introduced yourself yet. Also, hang on, oh. DM. <laughs> right, he, on. he wants to go back to the seat of power because the dwarves want to reclaim... Uh, well, he, he didn't say anything about going back. Ah, he but his brother well, wants brother to whatever. reclaim the... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he was healed? <laughs> Um, what, which one? This, this yeah, one? Well, it's pretty healed, but it's still banged up. Like, you know, you don't want to do so much. Uh, okay, Edmund's gonna say, uh, we do not need to go there, but if you would like to retrieve your brother, we are happy to help. You, you'd like to help my, you'd like to help me get him. All righty then. Uh, I know the way to the catacombs, but deep inside is... There's nefarious powers, darkness, the undead, as you've noticed. And I'm not a very, I'm not, I'm just a transcriber. I'm not very much a fighter myself. What did he so, say he was? It's not, he's a transcriber. It's not ah, a writer. Transcriber. I mean, it's not a fighter. Yeah. Okay. You might be helpful, especially if there are obstacles where we need transcribing. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you kind of have to urge him on this one, you're going to have to, he's shell shock. You're going to have to persuade him with this advantage if you really want him to go with you. Mm. I'll try. Uh, that's what my, that's what my persuasion's for. Yeah. I help. He's pretty shell shock as well, so you're going to do the disadvantage. Understood. D20 plus 9. Okay, that's a good start. Just need to not roll lower than that. How much was it? 23? Yeah, you can, that, that's more than enough. <laughs> that's like, nice. that's, that's more than enough. So he looks at you and he just says, just promise me you won't get me killed. I promise it on my name. For okay. I'm Edgar Allan Poe, and that's let how us, I introduce myself. Let us put him here. Hello, Edgar. How about the rest of you, laddies? What are your names? Oh. My Transcriber. name. There you go. His name is Arthur. Arthur. Just call me Professor Ray Scale, and I also promise on his name, Edgar, that you will not die today. All right, then. How about you, armored, fully armored-looking man, and Mr. Swordsman over there who's quiet? And then Torian went first, and said, Name's Torian Imam. Yeah, I'll do whatever they told you. <laughs> uh, Edmund will just bow his head and... He will say, uh, you may call me Richter. All right, sir, Richter. Well, now that everyone's here, we should start going before it's nightfall. They usually get active at that time. Follow me. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, and then he warns you that it is dark in the catacombs, like pitch dark. So, okay. Um, transition to the next map. 
Alrighty, it's pitch dark you said, yeah? I'll be casting light and I'll sing Light of feathers, shine on me Love is the answer What you talk on this stuff is not so familiar You're not getting another explanation, that shit the fuck away from me <laughs> right, I gotta me... sing my songs, man Yeah, no, I love it, I love it, keep going, dude Don't worry about it Alright, I'm Catacomb Sam Spawning. I'm off singing now. God damn it. Um, Arthur is here. So it's dark. So you need for humans, unless you're an elf or you know you have dark vision. You need Are we not here? Do you see it? Are you not? Uh, it's loading on me. It's loading okay. from me. Uh, Edmund has devil sight. Oh yeah, it's devil sight. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, for humans. All the humans out there that doesn't use double power, <laughs> you need to have light. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a half elf, but I still want to have bright light, dude. Oh, I'm just, only seeing things in shades. Thorian in ray scale that doesn't have, like, oh my god, okay, that makes sense. Hoo <laughs> hoo. for Thorian. Thorian. Oh, uh, where are you guys? Loading on my end. Hold are on. Uh, do you I'm... see it, Wayne? I see the map. Where do we... Ah, it's a left. Ta. Okay. Yeah, left. There's like a stairs there. Oh, this is a mega map. Okay. Big map. Big ma Big boy. A big boy. Big boy. <laughs> so, um... Oh, let me look at my notes. Because I actually have to do notes at this one. Uh, Ooh, okay. Take your time, man. Because I need to take a leak. BRB. Go ahead. Me too, me go too. Ahead, go ahead. B time. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's not. That's not one. Okay. Wow, okay, it finally loaded. <laughs> you said, you know, like, oh, wow. Yeah, I was just patiently waiting, and I'm just like, oh my god, wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna be... Where will I be? I'll stand behind them. Oh, right, put oh. this up there. Why is it... Oh god. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's just wait for the rest of the boys. Do we see this doom thingy? Ah, uh, yeah, you see that. That's. Ah, uh, you're human, right? It's too dark for you. I still see 30 oh. feet. But the rest of the guys, let's see that doom thingy. Oh, hmm. hold on. What do we see now? We see a tomb. Yeah, I see a tomb thingy. Um. So you have shrieks, a lot of shrieks in this uh, catacombs-like area. <clears throat> For those people that can see through the dark, you can roll perception right now. Uh, okay. okay. With disadvantage. Yeah, yep. same here. Disadvantage. Bartok can do it too. Okay. Oh, and also Arctur can do it. Oh wow, so Edmund with disadvantage rolled a 21. Oh, okay. Uh, forgot about your other one. Um, everyone else, that is that is more than enough. Edmund, you see vampire spawns and a vampire. Vampire oh spawns. Oh my! God. I will put them. I will put them now. Vampire. Oh. Vampire spawn here. Number one. Yeah, didn't roll that bad either. Nineteen. Nice. And then vampire. Thank you don't roll. Don't roll initiative yet. Understood. Because the vampire has a smart alarm. So <laughs> this man, who's wearing like some sort of suit, well, looks like a uh, commerce clothes, looks at you and says, hey, You bastards. You dare desecrate my family's tomb for the second time? And pointing at the Arthur guy. And Arthur's like, We didn't do that. You're the one who brought them out here. How dare you? And then. The vampire looks at you, are you on his side, or are you in mine? Uh, Edmund will... 
Can I roll an insight first on Arthur if he's full ah, of yeah, shit? Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah, fuck yeah, go for it. <laughs> full of shit. Like, is he full of shit? shit? It's so easy to shoot. Twenty. Ah, uh, yeah, that's enough. Um, so yeah, he's kind of bullshit. Kind of just like, yeah, you've been in this kind of country before. You've done something that angered these dead people. That's why they went to attack the village. Okay, Edmund will walk in front with his sword out, like kind of. It looks like he's defending Arthur. Yeah. And then look straight at the vampire's eyes. Look yeah. at, and then with his other hand grab oh, Arthur's. Stops you for a second, like grabs your arm and like, don't do this, Edmund. Who? Dorian. Dorian. Don't do what? Don't kill him. Uh, in that case, Edmund will just look Torian straight in the eye and stab Arthur. Oh, okay, roll that. <laughs> <laughs> she just use this, those three other guys as far kind of promise we're not gonna let you just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I didn't now. promise anything. <laughs> I said the other three guys did. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Alright, go kill him. Son. I mean, yeah, dude, this guy doesn't know that <laughs> Edmund uh, is like this. <laughs> yeah, uh, can I roll advantage because Arthur yeah. isn't expecting it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, <laughs> dude, you have 10 AC, you're gonna hit him no matter what. Uh, tw 21 to hit, 12 damage. Yeah, you six health, you have 6 health, you're gonna kill him no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just blood yeah. flies out, and Edmund looks at you, just like, yeah. you like. He lied to me and looks at the rest of the guys as his, mm. as the final light escapes his eye and fades away. Curse, like, have you lost your mind? What are you doing? Ed and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Edmund just like, looks at, like, looks away. Like, okay. kind of just like, like, averts the gaze of, like, Edmund as he stabs Arthur in the chest. Yeah. Uh, before, before, like, before Edgar and Rico had time to react, Edmund would have told Torian, uh, you no longer have any hold on me. I do what I want. And then after Edgar does the, oh my God, have you lost your mind? Mm -hmm. uh, Edmund will calmly say, do you not see those dwarves raided this, looking at the vampire, gentleman's mm -hmm. tomb. He lied to us. How do you know that he lied to us? The vampire just kind of surprised Pikachu face right now. <laughs> 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 what the fuck the What the fuck the lie <laughs> was, dude? Just keep talking, because like, the vampire is not going to bother you. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Edmund, Edmund, <laughs> Edmund just says... It looks like we're about to implode. <laughs> Edmund just says... <laughs> so the vampire is like, yo guys, hold up, let him fight! <laughs> <laughs> Edmund it's just like said that Ed meme in Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like two this vampires. No, no, the like... the gods in Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Godzilla. Let yeah, them go fight. Go uh, Edmund looks at Edgar and says, "The dwarf said he's never gone down here before, and yet, uh, the the gentleman re recognizes him, remembers him." Oh, you you have a point that. It sounds suspicious, indeed. Yeah, so. so Edgar kind of like lowers his energy levels, like, all right, maybe you have some merit with that then. But you can't just kill a man, Edmund. Or no, you said Richter. You, just, you can't just kill a man, Richter. What the hell? Uh, Edmund will say, uh, whispering, uh, but although he doesn't care if the vampire hears him or not, Edmund will say, if we did not kill him, the the vampire will not have trusted us, and all of us could have, could have, could have died here. Yet another point made. Okay, okay. Now I'm not. So <laughs> Edgar just kind of looks away from Rector, kind of in disbelief. Like, how could a man do this? No uh, vampire. Uh, you can continue. <laughs> The vampire laughs like, <laughs> well, a man after, after my own kin, and then looks at Edmund. My name is Kindred Lilila. I will type down his name. Okay. Vampire. Kindred Lilila.
Delilah. Baron Kindred Delilah. Welcome right. to my tomb, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we have awakened in my spawn set aside, they're like looking eager, you know. They need a little bit of something to feed. And there are fresh bodies out there in the sunlight. Would you come and get it for us? Kindly. Edmund bows. And then Edmund okay. says, we will, we will bring you the dwarves. No, no, the humans. They're more, how should I put this, delectable. Hmm. And at end, it's like, Edmund, what, what have you become, man? And I was a devil. <laughs> Edmund ignores him. Edmund will, say, will and then step you forward. Walk back up. Yeah, you walk back up. No, Edmund oh, will. Yeah, I thought you were keeping the bodies. No, Edmund will will step forward first and then okay. tell tell All the right. vampire. Oh, well met, Baron Kindred. What well is that sound? Too. What is that sound? Someone's clapping. Uh, no, what? that's uh, Jaji. She's oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's spicing up some pizza. Hey. Ah, okay. Spice and it up. So, um, what they call this? <laughs> Baron Kindred, boss too as well. Well met, Victor. And the rest of your colleagues. Edmund will say. You do. I do. Wait, I'm sorry, then. Okay. I respect those who can put people rightfully in their places. And you seem to have that kind of power over your colleagues. I respect that. Man to man. Edmund will say. Uh, Edmund will nod his head and then he'll say, Shame. Not every man understands what. Must, or what needs have to be done. The um, lengths we must go in order to save the greater population. And a band kindred nods and is like, Truth! Truly a man after my own self. <laughs> and it seems that we are kindred spirits, perhaps. <laughs> Edmund will be silent for a bit and then he will say, Baron Kindred, do I have your word yes. that once we deliver to you these human corpses, you will allow us to explore your crypt research? What is it? So he kind of holds you there for some. What is it do you exactly need? And don't you dare lie to me. Edmund will not lie. Edmund will say, we are looking for a seat of power. One that holds a... Uh... Aaron Core. Ethereum core. Okay. And then the Baron nods. I'll think about it. Bring us our meals first. And Edmund will say, not before I have your word that you will leave us unharmed. All right. Well, persuade him. <laughs> Go and persuade him. Okay. Uh, persuasion. The body that would have been an advantage, but I just kind of want to get it right now. So. <laughs> okay. Eager man. Eager man. Fourteen. And so, so the man says, uh, bring us the bodies first and we'll do it, Edmund. Mm. I tell Ed, and in a whisper, if I can whisper, I don't trust these things. They're obviously not for humans or trying to help us out. The man don't care. He doesn't hear it, probably. Mm. Edmund just says, it does not matter whether or not we can trust him. What matters is that... What matters is the goal. And he just walks out back. Alright, let me remind Edgar. You know these people, that they have just murdered, <laughs> and now they're gonna be fed. <laughs> So this guy. I, I know, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Like, Ray Scale and Terion aren't stopping Edmund. I'm kind of the odd one out here. Yeah, Terion kind of looks at you for a second and just walks up. I look up. back at him. <laughs> just walks up, back up. So you find yourself in the village. So, uh, you gotta be a couple of times. Terion can carry two dead bodies by himself. He's kind of doing it hesitantly. You know, for a double, he actually finds some humanity inside 
ask, I would ask for days of those. <laughs> yeah. And try to drag some back quietly, following Edmund's orders. How about the rest of you? How about your strength? I'm not dragging any bodies. I'm only going to be overlooking everything. I can't do this. Uh, yeah, well, you're seeing people that you used to know before. Like, no. just being dragged or bodies. But Mary is there. Plus being dragged. So, after a couple... Is I good friends with these villagers? Like, uh, like... That depends on you, but you know them. That depends on your situation, how you handled these people. Being a folk hero in this region, yeah, you probably been saved them a couple of times and they're happy to have you. Except for this time, you didn't save them. I know, so... It's okay, Edgar will remember this. Oh, okay, okay, Edgar will just remember. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and, uh, how about the rest of you guys? You wanna roleplay a bit while you drag the corpses and things and stuff like that? Yeah, I do say... And Richter, what if these vampires and its spawns are gonna try to eat us while we're in their crypt? We don't know what else is in there. Try to think this through, man. We can't trust undead. <laughs> Uh, I did Ed already, but you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund will just say, Edgar, listen. We are doing what must be done in order to speed things along and lessen the risks. If we do not do this, they would have attacked us right then and there. If we do this, we say, we. Uh, we are given our, we give ourselves some time to explore and find what we are looking for and if they end up still attacking us afterwards then we have no choice but to fight back and if it will make you feel better we return whatever bodies we can find and bury them properly how's that He thinks about it for a bit, then he's like, all right, this goes against every fiber of my being, but we'll try it out. But if I'm right, next time we do something like this, you try listening to me for a change, right? Edmund will just, uh, he, Edgar is a, what race is he? Is he a halfling or is he, what? He's a half elf. A half elf. Edgar, uh, Edmund will say, I uh, will put a hand on Edgar's shoulder. I will take the chance to listen to you, yes. But also know this. I said to you earlier that... Oh, no. Edmund, Edmund didn't say anything because Edgar said oh, that, that he knew us. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So Edmund yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. So Edmund, Edmund will say <laughs> earlier. He knew what to throw you off. <laughs> yeah, Edmund will say. <laughs> <did> throw you off. <laughs> earlier, you said that you know you know of us, so you know of our mission. We, what we are doing, is trying to save the continent. No, the world. So what we are doing now. So first, Edgar is hearing this. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you know the demon attack, but you don't know that it's affecting everyone else. Yeah, yeah. So Edmund, Edmund will continue saying, just trust that whatever we are doing, it is for the greater good. Okay. I, I also try to piggyback on what Edmund said and tell him, like, listen, what he says is true. And if you don't believe us, then think about this as well. The time we take hesitating about this because of morals, then more innocent lives would be affected negatively if we just dawdle around. So I'm pretty sure you can't have innocent lives on your conscience because of indecisiveness. So it's beyond. Right. I mean, like Edgar is speechless for a couple of seconds, like maybe a good five seconds, and he says. Well, all right then. You were the ones that arrived in my village with a dragon, so you're probably here for something greater than everything. All right, I'll go with what you're going with right now. But 
please do heed me every now and then because there are some things that us common folks see that you don't sometimes, you know? Hmm. Okay. Right. Ed Edmund just nods. And right. Edgar regrettably like starts um, you know, helping out with getting the bodies. Okay. Okay. Alright, boy. Well, so we drag a couple of like let's say a dozen of bodies there. And the vampire Baron, Baron Kindred, seems satisfied. But you know, there's more vampire spawn now, about six. Eager to get their fresh meals and uh, um, the Baron says, Splendid! Splendid! Just drop him right there and let my beautiful little, uh, what's he called? My little pawns, my little court people. Let and them my... feed, let them feed. And then the vampire spawn just ran towards the food and just started gnawing on them, you know, bloodily and greedily. Yes, my minions. Edmund looks Eat. at, looks at, uh, uh, Baron Kindred and says, Baron, your word. Of course, of course, Edmund. Come closer. Come here. Come. Come have a look at my catacombs, my land, my humble little abode. So he goes towards here, towards the tomb. Um, please leave your subjects behind mine. They truly deserve each other, don't you think? <laughs> Edmund looks over his shoulder, just nods at them. Ah, uh, guys, you have to stay back. It's just between the two boys now. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, so they stay back, and um, of course they can't hear them. They're kind of whispering now. Like Edmund Edmund, Ethereum Core, I presume. Why are you so interested in such an artifact? Tell me first, Baron. Do you ally yourselves with devils and demons or the like? Oh God, no! Demons, devils. Pretty selfish. They wouldn't know how to run a kingdom. They'll burn it all down to the ground. While me, I'm more of a ruler, perhaps a conqueror. Mm. You would add it. Umbral Passage was used to be all mine until they decided to turn against me. And I tried to save them. <laughs> Bastards. Well, are you aware now that a portal lies open? Where the old hammer keep used to be. Oh, well, what kind of portal exactly? A portal to the hells. Well, that is truly, truly devastating for the population there, isn't it? Not just there, for the world. In only oh. six days, the portal will remain permanent, and more of devils, uh, more of hells. Devils and demons will spill onto Thedos and then the rest of the world. Your well, little that's, that's, abode, and then gesturing to the catacombs, mm -hmm. will not be safe. Alright, roll, this... roll persuasion with advantage. Okay. That's not so, enough. So don't worry about it. That's enough. <laughs> that got him. 30! 30. Yes, natural and he 20 plus 10. He about it for a second and he's like, hmm. That is truly a problem, Edmund. But a man like me must look towards the future. And I am quite persuaded by you, and you seem to be such a powerful ally, aren't you not? He looks at you. Yeah, you just ask a question. You're a powerful ally, are you not? I am. Just that. <laughs> and I trust you by your word. So what yeah, I, I need, you your word. Uh, Edmund just uh, moves forward and says, so what I need, Baron, is this Ethereum core. I need to collect three of them in order to close this portal. That is my mission. Cannot, so he looks at you and says, you cannot collect Ethereum cores, Edmund. They are far bigger than you are. It's a contraption left here by the seat of powers to harness the true power of the ether. You activate the contraption, that's what you do. Ah, that is what I meant. 
<laughs> I told you that's an active game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just. Yeah, yeah. They're not Pokemon. They're not Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I was thinking so, of the. I was thinking of the core in his power armor. It's just small, isn't it? Okay. Oh yeah, it's small. Yeah. But no, this was a. Uh, that's that's just a shard. That's an Ethereum shard. All ah, right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, Edmund. I trust you with your. Uh, with your word. But I still need the remaining of my lands back eventually. I will rain hell upon these people given that I have my strength back. But you have my word and I will let you inside. I do have to warn you. Mm. A brother. That man's brother has been here. And well, he is kind of a persuading fellow. And he has been corrupted by the powers of darkness that wills within this land. Such as any good person can be. But what is the powers of darkness but rather more alluring, don't you think, Edmund? They are the ones that give us the powers that we seek the most. And that's why I have let him in as well. Can you handle him for me? I can. <laughs> Edmund, my boy. Then yes, let your subjects in, and then he taps his tomb, ding, 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 ding. and all of a sudden it's actually a lock. It was like a five sequence lock. Okay. That just uh, puts itself in position as he taps the tomb, and the tomb moves, like splits wide open, and it's an underground, another underground passage going deeper. Cool. And then the vampire bows and lets you in. See you soon, Edmund Victor, and as well as your friends. Edmund just nods, uh, and right. then he looks over his shoulder towards Rayscale, and then mm -hmm. um, he just, and then he calls out to them, "Come, comrades, let us be on." Okay. And then okay. He goes down. <laughs> okay. Dorian goes down, and it's a pretty long, long way down. Um, to the next map, it's a pretty long way down. All right. As you start to move here towards this beautiful and majestic place. The, 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 the very minerals of this place have started to more of a mithril kind of view, you know, the sky blue mithril mineral. Mm. So that's what you're starting to see more as you enter yourself. And quite deep into it, about an hour's walk, like this descending and trying to avoid some places. Sure, you're going to have to go through some decisions to navigate the path and stuff like that, okay? Oh, okay. So the first, the first instance is you have to climb a couple of rocks and things like that, like a sheer, you know, like a sheer cliff, cliff side. Mm. So in here, either you're willing, as, as usual, you know, you're willing to cast a couple of spells to get past it easily, or you're going to will to take some damage along it. Um, also, you can just use your skills. If you're dexterous enough, then you can do a roll. But failing it will deal more damage. Mm. So those are your three choices. DM Edmund will. Uh... So either you. So the third choice, like either, if you find yourself dexterous enough, you would rather just take a skill check. Uh, failing so will double the damage from the first choice, which is just like you know climbing through the side, getting damaged a bit. Or mm. the second choice is spells to pass through it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna want to fly through it? Yeah, you can yeah. also do Edmund that. Was, I was going to say Edmund yep. was going to put a hand on his people put out. Like to fly, yes. Yeah. You can fly yeah. through it. He's gonna We're pull, flying. Put so, a hand on then, his put a hand on fly. his chest and then uh wings will sprout from his back, celestial wings. My um, celestial wings sprout back and you just do it. Um Corian on the other hand has to Hold on, before they do that, can I and I cast Featherfall on me and Turin, and okay, then they, they like, fly us up, because we're light like feathers. Uh, oh yeah, you're light like feathers at that point, does that work? Yeah. They nice. don't need to have a high enough strength. Nice. Mm. So you're gonna get through that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll use yeah. a first level spell for that. Alright, there you go, and they carry you to the other side. Alright, next up is quite quiet and stuff like that. This time you have to do a perception check or an arcana check, depending which one you want to use. Edmund will... He ship I'll at... I'll percept... He'll I'll go do... perception. I'll do perception as well. Alright, go ahead. Arcana. 21 perception. 
Wow. Uh, okay. 23, baby. Yeah. Okay, well, you see some sigils to the side. Oh, there's multiple sigils, about three of them. Um, you can spell them. You, you, you do have to spell them passing through. Sigils? Mm-hmm. Okay. They're just a symbol spell. Symbol. Uh, isn't, what's his name, isn't injured with us? Can't he dispel this, or he won't No, he it? didn't, he didn't follow you, he didn't descend with you. Oh, your, okay, my bad. Alone. Uh, yeah, I will cast the spell magic on it, and uh, there's three glyphs. There's three glyphs. There's three? Yep. Goddamn. Well, well, can I, can I can we... Can we cast uh, the spell magic as well on one of them? Which level spell? Slot, because you do have to roll. Yeah, oh. Can we first level. figure, like, identify what the glyphs are? Ah, uh, you can do a kind of check. Identify. Oh, I, did, like... I did do. A, I did do an arcana check. I got twenty. Oh, that was that was no. He had a, yeah, but Edwin also did the 20, 21 already. Perception. That yeah. was enough. Yeah, perception. So he was able to identify. You have to do another check now. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Each one of you. See, to identify what triggers. So. Uh, I'll just help Edgar to give him I advantage. Know. Thank you. I need that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you proficient with Arcana? Yeah, I'm proficient. Uh, I am not, so I cannot help. Yeah. Okay. 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 I keep the first one. Race scale. I race scale? keep the uh, first one. That's twelve. Yeah, that I can. I can. I can, can try help. Uh, uh, no. Are you proficient? You can help if you're proficient. I am proficient. Yeah. Uh, you can just. Uh, you would you rather Edgar do it or you do it? Because you can give Edgar I'll another try, roll. I'll try doing. It. I'll try doing it. Okay, right, I can go ahead and oh do it. Boy. Oh boy! Wow! Nah, no. Oh. So you, okay. might, you don't know what triggers it, so you do have to spell it. Okay. Yeah, nobody knows how to trigger it. So yep. okay. Oh wait! You can, you can Why don't I, guys, or... guys, hold on, guys, yeah. before we spend a lot of stuff? Why don't I try? Uh, using my telekinesis and moving something to okay. the glyph to see what happens. Okay, what you... go ahead. So you uh, you move a couple of rocks to it? Yeah, there's using of, my... There's a lot of mithril rocks and stuff like that. Yeah, using maybe a mithril rock, I try to... Using my telekinesis, like how far are we from the glyph? Because I want and to stand... About like 60 feet, you were able to solve 60 feet. Okay, I'm, yeah, from 60 feet, I can use my telekinesis and move the mithril rocks to see if the glyphs will be triggered upon hitting it or something. Nothing. Nothing happens? Mm -hmm. Okay. What if I use my telekinesis to throw the mithril, mithril rock on the, on, the sh on the glyphs? Nothing. Okay. Uh, so it's all like, <laughs> from the glyph. Hmm. What about, uh, okay, how about this? <laughs> I will, this is, uh, this is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna take an empty potion of healing. Uh-huh. Put some of my blood on it, and then, and then use my telekinesis to throw it at the glyph. All right, let's do that one, the glyph, and multiple magic missiles hit that potion, that empty <laughs> potion, with <laughs> blood on it. Oh, no. I see. I... I shared to, to the others. Apparently, if any beings with blood pass through these glyphs, then I think that's gonna happen. So, I think okay. uh, I think it's more cost effective if I just throw from that. By the way, just one d four because you got some blood from yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. So yeah, I'll Edmund, roll. <laughs> Edmund just nods, I mean, no. and nods and says, "Well, there are two more." I, we've never seen Bartok, have we? We've never nope. seen Bartok. Never seen Bartok. Yeah. All right, so I'm like, well, mm, perhaps, perhaps I can also use my mage hand. Okay. <laughs> Try that well. out. Uh, tapping oh. it? What are you doing with your mage hand? So, with my mage hand, it needs blood. So, are you still bleeding, dude? Maybe I can use some more of your blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just... Oh, you, got, you, got, 
Oh, why don't I rub again. some of my blood on like a dagger or something and we can hold it around the glyphs? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you want to get that close? Just throw the blood at it. <laughs> You could also throw the blood out of it, yeah, actually. So you gotta stab yourself again? Um... Uh, so damage. I'll nick ten. myself with a dagger so that he doesn't have to. Alright. Oh, I forgot to add your dex and that's your dex you keep stabbing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go Shit. add your dex modifier. I don't think Rafi has any dex modifier, so it's fine. No, um, I have a dex mod, so... I'll add that <laughs> Am I forced to use dex? Because in this case, since it's finesse, I'd like to use strength so that I take ah, yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, can I do that too? Yeah, yeah, go use that, yeah. It just, use this. it just keeps scratching, like, a part of your wrist or something, so... You still take damage, right. like, you can't get away with that, but it's just a tiny amount of damage. Yeah, and so that's going to be 4 minus 1. Alright, go deal damage. And All throw right, some blood. Deal damage, throw some blood on the symbol. Alright, yeah. and he does it. <laughs> and then the, for the third one, um, what do you call this? Throw you inside that he'll do it, since Edmund probably doesn't want to do it himself. Yeah. And he'll take damage. <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. Edmund, <laughs> Edmund's just <laughs> like, come on then, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he takes two points, three takes two points of damage and throws down in it. So technically the last two sigil are five balls. Wow. So oh, five wow. balls imploded. <laughs> um before you. And three and this mother. Well one hole of firework and we didn't stop that from happening. A nice thing on your part, guys. And then and then walks. Yeah, I just watch and then Oh start. we're flying, I think we're flying still. I don't have fly anymore, this is already fair ah, okay. ground, this is already safe okay. uh, Alright, so you make your way to this beautiful kind of throne room, but like, it's very filled with mitral ore. Oh shit, this is, there's no grid yet, give me a second, boys. Ooh, there it is. Is there a grid? Oh, oh my god, it's, it's no beautiful. Grid. Where's the grid? You it's open the grid. map again, you double click the map again after giving it a grid. Uh, uh, it's not doing it. Uh, let me let me try this one. See if it. Oh, this one. This one has a pre-built grid on it. Um, we will. Uh, I will. I will. I will re. I will re-invite you guys. Ah. Uh, um, okay. And see if that he, works. He this he pieced out there. <laughs> yeah. Give me a second, because I am slap the grid. I'm still not doing it. No, the I'm draw draw grid, not snap the grid. Oh, I have to draw grid. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what I did last time. Uh, there we go. Draw grid. Okay, that's good. That's good. Found it. Um, I will invite you guys again. Mm hmm Gucci, okay. Gucci, 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 Gucci. There you go. Copy What's the password? Uh, dwarf. Dwarf. Oh. <laughs> Dwarf. Dwarf. All right, you go. made it up there. there um, in the center, uh, you can actually move up the bridge near the sport. Uh, you see, yeah, you see eight figures sitting there. Uh, he looks a very pale looking like Dwarf, who has been sitting there for a very long time. I'm moving, but still alive. On his side are four looking like wraiths. Oh my god. Not these oh my things. goodness, they're big. No, they're not big. They're, okay. they're, not, they're not big. They're not big. It's, it's, why are you doing this? <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, because Ooz's Ooz yeah, Ooz default Ooz size is... Yeah, whose yeah. size is usually two, that's why. Yeah, okay. they're huge. Okay, and behind him is a huge contraption, like in the shadows here, behind him. Mm. It's a huge contraption of a glowing, looks like a D20, but it's very blue. Mm. You know, I don't know what, what shape a D20 is. Does anyone know what shape that is? A Dogecahedron, I'm, I'm kidding, I don't know what it is. I don't know, a Decahedron, whatever thingy. It's, um, yeah. uh, it's embedded in a contraption behind. And oh, it's wait, coming. 
Yeah, that guy hit right? It's coming. Um, I lower voices anyway. Um, the man sits there and it looks at you. It looks very pale, his eyes is green, and just looks at you quietly. The, okay. Uh, I Edmund? just wave at the guy. Hello. Edmund will say surveyor. What was that? Surveyor Greybeard. Uh, and then he kind of eyes kind of sparks up a bit and then says, "What do you want?" We've come to say that the vampires upstairs have been, have been slain. All right. You're well, free to I'm leave. Now you're playing the long con, man. Shit. You played the long con. 16? 16. Oh, wait, no. Um, <laughs> give me a second. No, this, yeah, actually, you roll this doesn't make sense here because you only ask one thing. And what of my brother? He has fallen in their hands do you not wish to seek revenge no <laughs> i do wish to seek revenge on you for oh, what and with that he <laughs> wear he said, the ring in his middle ring he actually has a ring okay you can see. all of a sudden shines and he turns invisible roll initiative what the f okay <laughs> it's a ring of invisibility oh shit. <laughs> all right okay, i'm a piss Roll initiatives. Let me roll for everyone's initiatives here. Some rates. Some good old rates, old boy old. Uh, where is it? Where's my stat block for rates? Right there. I found it. Will you be rolling one for each rate, my dude? I, I'll just be rolling them by a bunch and just tell you which one's the highest. Ah, okay. Let me, let me put their names. Nobody uh -huh. one. W2, W3, W4. This guy's name is Thunveria. Oh, I Thor. forgot now. His name is Tor. And he's gone! You don't know where he went. He's gone. Um, Edgar, Edmund. Oh, let me pull out this. Um, oh, I already have him up already. Perfect. Oh, so nice. rolling for a Turian. So for rate one, Arthurian has no. I have plus one to initiative. Arthurian has plus one to initiative, so you can roll for him. Okay, we're rolling for him. Can someone yeah. else do that? <laughs> uh, let's write down the rates. Rate one got an eight. Rate I'll do two... it. I'll do his. All right. Okay. So let me put that. Oh yeah, you see it. Eight. It's here, but technically I just picked it. Uh, rate two got got a nine. Ooh. Rate three got an eleven. Rate okay. four got a nineteen. What? Yep. Um, let's okay. roll for Thurvier. I rolled eighteen for him. All right, that's nineteen for Thurian. I uh, know that's a total. I already had the plus one. So plus one. Okay, got it. 18. Got it, got it, got it. So it's 18. Um, let me move on. Let me read some stuff. What did Turv... What did Greybeard roll? I'm looking at his stuff, because he has stuff that increases his thingy. I, hold on, um, I have it in my notes. What's his name? Turveyor. Uh, Turveyor, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so that's a plus 6. Um, that's an 8, actually. It rolled pretty low. Ooh, not bad. That's good. Okay. Um, let us go and fight the Rooney. DM, first. DM uh, I don't know if you know this already, but on your side as a DM, you can click on a token and then press the eye icon to make them invisible. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Where's the eye icon? I click it and I click eye? Yeah, the oh. eye. Oh my yeah. god, it's invisible. So you can, can you see him? We cannot see him. Oh. Yeah. Oh frick yeah! So you can move oh the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you can. It's easier for you to keep track of them where they are, even though they're invisible. So I can now have multiple invisible people fighting you. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. indeed. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go first. 
Um, in the initiative order, we have Wraith 4 first. Alright, Wraith 4 is gonna move. Five. I'm gonna move movement. Uh, let me check. That's so many tabs. Oh, I have to put the, their, their damage. Give me a second first, alright. Let me just delete some tabs. Uh, Wraith, Wraith has... Oh, that's 60 feet of move. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, Wraith 4 is here. 5, 10, 15. 20, and of which I had a 5, 5th level spell 5, slot right now. 40, 45. Maybe I just want to go straight. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh, it just makes it. Okay. It's a fact, Edmund, because you're the closest one that I can reach. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Let me write down their team. Um, by the way, you're, you have to recharge your Ethereum armor because you've been more than an R. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Alright, let's move damage. I'm not damage, attack first. Um, 18. I don't think I have 18 hits, right? Miss 22, my AC. Miss. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that's the end of the turn. You okay. can attack once. Uh, okay. who's next? Torian. This is Torian. Uh, Torian's uh, right, in, right next to Edmund. Give me a sec. Let me put his token. His fighter token. Oh, I'm just gonna slash the guy. Oh, yeah. It's actually the monk token, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like a champion, but he isn't. I will attack three times. Is there anything I can do with that aside from that? He's definitely just like, as a samurai, he can do some other stuff, but not a lot. Yeah, he can give himself an advantage. It's not going to do that right now. He's going to attack three <laughs> times. Because technically he has advantage, if you think about it. Attack when, three times. uh... When the guy turned invisible, I'd probably tell like Edgar, like, now it's a great time to use the potion of growth. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a good time to use the potion of growth. So attack it. One D two D ten actually. Two G ten plus six I have to use an action to drink the potion. Uh, four takes twenty eight points of damage. Twenty eight, okay. Yeah. And Thorian stays there and kind of chills. What's next? 28 damage. Next up is me, Edgar. Go, go, my dude. <laughs> well, I can't fucking see the dude. Hmm. You really yeah, want that. me to. <laughs> you really tell him to drink the potion? He... Edgar thinks that Ray Scale knows what he's talking about, so he's gonna drink the potion of growth. <laughs> Alright, an action. Go for it. Yep. So, oh my I'm... god, it's not you, just a huge Edgar! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Edgar now, boy. <laughs> Alright, I just painted a bigger target on myself, so yeah, may as well go all the way with that. I go forward a bit, and then as a bonus action, I can cast something, so let's see. It's gonna be a while before it's my turn again. So, I say an incantation, not the song this time. Sap the oh. will of those who would do ill. And oh, then nice. I cast Sanctuary on myself. You are now sanctuaried. Yeah, boy. You are sanctified. I'm sanctified. Right. <laughs> you are sanctied. Sanctified. <laughs> Sanctuary. And that's the end of my turn. Alright, Edmund, your turn. Edmund will true uh at will activate his power armor armor by spending a second spell slot. Mm -hmm. So his power goes boom and, and then uh he will also rise from the ground and his celestial wings will Wait, right. I, I wonder if that's a free action, actually. Let me check. Yeah, you should check that. It's, uh, you got wings of flight, oh. I think? Uh, no, you gave me winged boots. We're just flavoring no, 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 it, no. too. Wings of flying. It's wings of flying. I oh, wings of flying. shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, fly. Okay. Uh, I used to think it's a mantle in a cloak, but technically the mantle is the one on your shoulders, so that makes sense. We, uh, wings of flying... Okay, let me Look. add that. Do you make a command word? So use an action, actually. Oh, shit. Uh... 
Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so black wings cut out at your back because that's your alignment right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're yeah, not. So they're not, like they're not like skin devil wings. They're still feathers. They're not. feathers. Yeah. Yeah. So power armor is down. I do my wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, action. yep, bonus action will be to call on the holy hammer. Mm-hmm. Uh, holy hammer, I will summon it. How far can I do holy hammer? Mm. Uh, still at fourth you can level. Do it up to 30 feet or 60 feet, Manta. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking. It is 60 feet, so I'm gonna have it be up forward like anticipating to help Edgar so mm-hmm. or maybe just go all the way 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 maybe just here so that it can go on um and then I oh know I'll just god damn it I don't want it to I don't want to move it up yet Take your time and do take your time. I mean, see, I'll, I'll do it lang for the Uh Holy Hammer at second level will attack. Uh, so, Holy Hammer attack that guy. Miss, natural one. So, that's a miss. That's a miss. Yep. Holy Hammer. That is the, done with the bonus action. Wings is done. Um. Mm, Bartok will help action mm-hmm. on rate four helping um helping ray scale. Alright, never your scale. Got it. That is the end of my turn. Alright. So the rate actually weirdly the rate is actually like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's actually getting insulted by Bartok confusingly. <laughs> Like, yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that's it. All right, Ray three turn. Ray three is gonna move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, and just gonna try to attack him. Which one check? You gotta attack Edgar. Which oh boy! That's not a lot. Oh, that's not fast, so he's like, no, I don't feel like attacking you. Uh, uh Ray Shield, it's your turn. I don't okay. want it. Oh, by the way, after this, I do have to say, if he wants to redirect his attack, he can do that. I can redirect it anywhere else. Okay. Alright, that's the end of, uh, his turn. Uh, I mean, yeah, he can attack it anywhere else, sadly, so. <laughs> Next sad. up is Ray Shield, it's your turn. Okay, um, let's see. I, I received help action from Bartok, right? Yeah, for, right? for the Wraith 4 lang. Yeah, okay, Wraith 4. Then I shall take advantage of that and cast... Let me check that. Wraiths are undead, so I have to make sure I am using the correct spell. Give me a moment. No, dude. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I will cast, uh, as a, as a, as a cantrip, I'll, an, as an action, I'll cast Chill Touch on, um, Wraith 4. So that's with advantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get double advantage. Mm-hmm. Well, not quite, but yeah, that's good. Yeah. This is D20 plus 10, so this should hit. Okay, again, maybe I'll crit and... Oh wow, 20, 24. The 24 hits this guy, right? Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> that was a hit. <laughs> that was a hit. Since it hits this guy, apparently since the Wraith is undead, mm-hmm. then the Wraith will have disadvantage on attack rolls against me until the end of my next turn. Oh, gosh. Uh, damage? Mm-hmm. Does it do damage? 
It's uh, 10 damage. Let me check if it's cold or necrotic. I think it is necrotic damage. And it can't uh, again hit points until that. Uh, yeah, but it's immune, it's immune to that. <laughs> That's, uh, oh. So no damage. Oh, no. Oh, he's he's kind of chill, but he has, uh, he, can't, he, can't, he has his advantage in hitting you. Oh, no. Okay. Well, now, we know. now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Now. As a bonus action, I will quicken spell Summon Aberration, and All I right. will Go ahead, but for... summon it at the fourth level, so we are going to see a slad just up here between... Oh my god, a slad? Shit. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Ew, indeed. So <laughs> dude, 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 I have a slad. Here, 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 hold on. Yeah, I got a slad open. ready. Yeah, the slad. Which, oh, no. You must just Which slad. slad? Which I slad? Call, give us a slad. Give us a slad. I thought I'd give us a lad. <laughs> give us a lad, man. Uh, which one do you want? The blue or the red one? Red, red, red. Okay, gotcha. Sladdy. Okay. We will name him Sladdy. <laughs> Sladdy. Sladdy. It's going to be Sladdy. Hey, little Sladdy. <laughs> uh, he's medium sized by the way, so he will be a bit tiny. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, and where do you summon him? I will summon him over here. I will have Sladdy attack Wraith 4. Attacking. To oh, block, dude, right? I think he's overwhelmed, dude. There's so many yeah, people yeah. here. He's overwhelmed, so I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Does that have advantage? Yeah, it has advantage. Okay, nice. This will be D20 plus 10. It will take after my spot back bonus. That's 29. Let me mm -hmm. see if this crit. Almost um, crit though, dang. Oh. oh no. It's fine, whatever. Uh, I'll see if the second one hits. You know what, I'm gonna... 2d20 plus 10. We'll see which one. Okay, that should hit as well. Yep. So he gets. How much damage? Show? The damage he gets is. Okay, so this is level 4. So total is uh, 2d20 plus 14. He gets. 39 points of psychic damage. Let's see how much else much we have. 67 damage, dude. God damn. 57 damage. Um, is it close? Oh, he just dies. So the slide just starts scratching through it. I mean, he's a claws, right? Oh, Flying oh. through it. Hold on, Raph. You rolled 2d20s for damage? That's crazy, man. Uh, that's... No, that's really what? 2d20s? Oh, fuck. No, oh, wrong. Sorry. My bad. Let I'm me do it again. Oh, okay. I, I got so high. That's not just go through it. That's 2d10 plus 14. There we go. Okay, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's 32. That's really close. <laughs> How much damage is that? 32. 32. 60 damage. That was 28 plus Ana still. It's still there. It still exists. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> still alive. Uh, who's next? Bastard. Uh, the uh, two. I'm gonna yeah. also have, uh, also, I'll have the, the, I'll have Sladdy move away and have it, like, do it so I have an opportunity if it wants. Yeah, it will. Okay. But they don't know anything else. Um, that's a hit. That's a hit. Uh, make it a con okay. save? Yeah, should do a con save. Okay. Uh, oh, no, Sladdy. No, Sladdy. He does plus two. 22 points of necrotic damage. Oh. Ah, it passes. It passes it, but it takes 22 points of necrotic damage. 22. Right. Okay, got it. Written down. Sladdy. W3? Uh, W2, right? Uh, that's the end of Sladdy's turn. Oh, that's the end of Sladdy's turn. Yeah, it ends. The slide okay. is turns over, yeah. W2 moves, 5. For the next round, ten, we have to switch two, up race skill and W2. Three, I mixed that five, up. 40. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, next round. Okay. Cause I, 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 okay, that makes sense. Uh, the one who's gonna attack Slatty! Slatty, no. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure it's not. Does it have an 18 AC or above 18? No, right? No, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, make a con save for him. Poor Slatty. Poor Slatty. Should be. Did it pass? 19. Oh, that's not fast, so he can't reheal this. Aww. Slatty, no. It takes 16 points on necrotic damage. 16? Yep, 16. 8 damage okay. so far. Alright, W1's turn. Um, is he gonna, he's gonna trigger a attack opportunity, right? From uh, Spiritual Weapon. It's not a creature, though. Spiritual Weapon doesn't have reactions. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and he's gonna attack Slatty as well. I uh, can't be here because he has movement. And that's an advantage. Ooh, no. Slatty, no! <laughs> uh, he's still sure attacking, though. Yeah, he's taking um, my hit. Uh, make a uh, saving throw for him, please. Okay. Yeah, he's our meat shield, actually. That's why. Yeah, so well, that's a pretty lot of health, yeah. They do have a lot of health. Holy crap. 16. Oh, he passes, but he takes, um, where's my thing? He takes 24 points of necrotic damage. Oof. And he is gone. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh. Okay, yeah, the max HP is scaled with your spell, right? Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sedge. Slatty. 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 Um, stop the round. Oh no no, third bear? He's not making his turn. Oh, okay, we have no idea what happened. <laughs> Alright, W4 up, man. When, w4. when he's visible again, he just has a bazooka and he's shooting at that. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, outside a freaking bazooka. <laughs> that's, that's, so, that's so crazy. Okay, um, W4 just uh, attacks Edmund. Okay. Uh, is it gonna hit? Nope, not this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, W4 is turn. Uh, it's done. So again, it's gonna take a swing at W4. It's gonna do one swing and see if it's like gonna be enough to kill him. Because he has three attacks, so. Uh, two again, where are you? What's your hit? The fuck? Where is it? Oh, it's plus 10 to hit. That hit? Um, but should be dead. All right, so Corian slashes him once, and W four fades, and he uh, gladly rush towards these guys, these two guys over here. And this is swift blow and swift motion. It's very fast, and gonna attack uh, W two and W one respectively. Um, first one. Uh, so the first one, he was able to hit, but slash it to the second one, he kind of flops his drop his blade. It's like, damn it! <laughs> so, oh yeah, just do the damage. Uh, so, W, where is he? W2 takes 13 points of damage. 13. Yeah. Alright, right, that's the end of his turn. Who's next? Edgar's turn. Oh, it's my turn. All right, I am large Lock them down. right now. Yeah, you're large. Right now, I am indeed large. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. There's a couple of options. All of my allies are full health right now. Okay, I think I'm just going to be doing damage. So. For my action, I'm going to be taking out my scimitar, or not my action, but like free action to take out my scimitar plus three from the mm -hmm. sheath. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I stand in this space over here. Oh, ah. There you go. <laughs> okay, and then uh, let's see here. Um, for my bonus action, I'm going to be inspiring Turian again. Alright, inspire. 
Yeah, he's in the fray right now, dude. He needs it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Let's see. Or actually, hmm. You know what? Wait. Wraith. Two, three, four. Centurion's turn is done. Oh, I'm gonna do what I was born to do. Support. And I cast Sanctuary on... Oh, no, wait. Hmm. I can't cast Sanctuary. I'm going to cast Bless then. So, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to cast Bless on... Wait, I should sing Bless, actually. Bring it up. Or not sing. It's going to be Divine Blessings upon us. Guide our right. strikes and protect us from harm. I cast Bless on Turian myself. I'm gonna need a different color actually, so that's purple. And ray scale, can I reach? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I'll just reach. Nice. Bless. Right. Hashtag bless. Hashtag blessed. There you go. Right. There you go, that's my turn. Inspired and bless. Nice. Indeed. Okay, Edmund, your turn. All right, uh, Edmund's just angry because his hammer's friggin' useless. So it's like, damn it, it's like the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund will roll his eyes and then he will extend a hand forward, and mm -hmm. emerging from the ground here, mm -hmm. uh, will spring forth a well. Uh, of fire and then he will say I call on the flames of hell surrender to my will spring oh, forth go. from a fiery well here to burn and kill as he casts flaming sphere at the fourth level All so right. nice. looks like that let me change oh, nice. the size of this if I can select it why can't I select it let me what is that? Like that for some reason. You to vandalize my map? What's happening? <laughs> you vandalized this <laughs> map, dude. Hang on, hang on. You will be executed immediately. <laughs> wait, wait. Maybe I can do this instead. And then I'll put that there. Now can I move this? What the hell? Why can't I move oh, this? That's not, that's not a spear, man. <laughs> dude, that's weird. That's Armageddon. Yeah, they, I think the token is fucking up right now because even I can't touch it. Yeah, even I can't touch what? it. What? Ah. Wait, wait. In the map, I will not hear any of this. <laughs> wait, let me back. undo. Maybe I can undo What's the going drop. On? I'm not restarting. We're gonna keep it. They're like they're like special effects. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't move it. Okay, in that case, it'll just be this. Yeah, she's that for now. So it, it's now. this one, and then that's my action to cast Flaming mm -hmm. Sphere. This is fourth level. Uh, let me take note that's of that first. That is concentration. So yep. funny how D&D works. Yeah. <laughs> so I am concentrating. Uh, yeah, but I can only move one of them as a bonus action, and since the oh, Holy Hammer has been shit... Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna move this one. DM, I'm gonna move it. Uh, wait, let me see. I can move it up to 30 feet. Cool. So I'm gonna move it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm gonna move it like. I'm gonna have it move like this way mm -hmm. in the hopes that I. that it bumps anyone that's invisible. <laughs> Yeah, there's no one. There's no one okay. there. Okay, all right. So boom, like that. At least you want it now. And then, uh, yeah, w one. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if two are adjacent. Do they both get the effect or just the one? What does the spell say? Uh, I can as a bonus action. I can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram the sphere into a creature, that creature must make uh, the saving throw against the sphere. It is one. It yeah, is one it just creature. says one creature. You ram, no? it one. Yeah. You, ram it, you ram it back to creature. You can only like ram one creature. Okay. So yeah. I ram it to one. Deck save. It's a deck save, right? Deck save 16, yes. Or take 4d6. Right. Oh, uh, half damage. Okay. That's it, pass. 
Uh, they take 13 halved is 6. Only one thing, 6 points of fire damage. Uh, Anything else you want to do? Um, so that's my bonus action too. Uh, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move. Torian's kind of in trouble, but... Uh, I don't give a shit about. Do you really care, <laughs> I don't give a shit about Turian, So. But do you really care? Uh, <laughs> Edmund's just gonna gonna fly diagonally upwards, mm -hmm. and then okay. over this group, Got as it. far to the other side of the room as he can. So that's five, ten, fifteen. The ceiling is pretty high, actually. Sixty feet up. Forty. Like the ceiling is sixty feet up. Uh, not too high, like. 10, 15 feet up. Okay, so 10 feet up? Yeah. And then right, Bartok's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Bartok can make it up to there long. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, that is... Uh, but as Bartok passes over these guys, he's gonna help uh, Turian against, mm -hmm. against Wraith 2. Mm-hmm. So Torian has advantage against Wraith too. Wraith too. And okay, then got it, got it. The and then Bartok flies, continues to fly over. Uh, right, that's it. Right, End of Edwin's turn. All right. Oh, so hey, is Bartok by the way? Wraith three is gonna attack. Ah, uh, ten also. Um, okay. Why mm. it doesn't go over we your got head? Got Torian because she has advantage. So. Uh, Ada, he's attacking Torian because she has advantage okay. of that. Right. Uh, um, he's sanctuary. Oh, oh no, wait. He's not. He's not. He didn't cast it. Yeah. Yeah, she can keep, keep in track. So it does hit. <laughs> it does hit. So he's going to have to do a con saves. Yes. Let me do plus. Two plus. Did I get an advantage or uh, additional 1d4? Right? Yeah. Yeah, he should be better be blessed. Oh, no, he's a fighter. He's Chris. He doesn't need blessed. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, don't say you don't need bus, man. It's always yeah. Helpful. That's true. It's always helpful. Uh, saving throw. Where's the fucking saving throw? Jesus, oh, there is six. Uh, oh yeah, you don't need that. Bless. God bless you. One d four. Yeah, dude. You didn't need it. He can't heal it. Let's line up. So okay, he can't heal that. Next up with sex. Did someone tell me? W two. Uh, Same. Wait, how much damage does Turian take? I'm also tracking 17. it here. 17 damage. So I can't okay. heal that because you failed this con save for some fucking reason. Sage. Alright. Next up is after Edmund W2. Oh, w2, w2 misses attack. W2 ah. misses attack. Wait, your turn. Okay. First, I'm gonna. How high is this place? Uh, 60, 60 feet. Up. Yeah. 60 feet. I'm going to go 30 feet upwards okay. into the sky, and then right, um, from you, you'll trigger an attack of opportunity. Oh shit! Oh no, he's right next to you. Shit! Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god! Can I? Uh, okay. Can I? Hmm. Now that I know that. Okay. Yeah, I used my movement pass. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you go. Have to... Uh, that's A. Give me a second. How much is this? Oh, that's a 15 hit. Can I cast shield for that? Uh, yeah, you can cast shield because you're not attacking the surprise, so. Is it yeah. a surprise? What would surprise me? But I don't think you could cast shield on that. I'll give you that. Okay, yeah, I cast shield. So that one wouldn't hit if that 15 won't hit. Alright, alright, alright. Um, you can fly up now. Okay, um, here's uh, here's a thing, uh, DM. Since he attacked me and I realized he's there, is it possible for me to use my action to cast Prestigitation and soil that area so I can mark him as an outline? They're gonna use that as an action? Yeah, because I still I mean, have... A... Yeah, okay, sure, you're gonna use that as an action. Because that's your kind Yeah. yeah. What does Prestigitation do? Prestigitation. Like, I can soil an... an cause it's part of uh, the spell, yeah, yeah. I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soil... Yeah. 
I can but, instantly clean or soil an object no larger than one cubic foot. So, yeah, it's not, it's not invisible anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we it's can... Not, it's not invisible anymore even without press to digitate is what I understood. Yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, without it. Ah. So it's like you ever did a Hmm. Would it, would it, um, if he turns invisible again, would the, would the dirt still, like, come with him or something, or? Oh, rough. Like, I'll stop yeah. you right there, because I also have invisibility, and I don't want that to happen, so. Okay, fine. Let's, let's just keep it that if you get soiled with invisibility, we'll say that you're wearing the dirt, because you can carry right. dirt, man. Yeah, okay, fine. And you can also wipe it out, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's not do that, man. Don't nerf my invisibility. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm thirty feet up high, so I can't. I uh, know. Okay, I will use my main action to cast Crown of Stars. So. Crown right. of Stars, oh, level seven. And then, I will use my bonus action to hurl one of the moats at him. Right. Roll attack. Spell attack. D twenty plus ten. Does a nineteen hit him? Nope. Shit. Okay. That's a miss. That's a big miss. Let's just shoot one one thing at him. He's a very dexterous guy. You see that he just dodges that quite easily. Okay. Don't have a shield. Oh, dude, 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 dude! You have bless. All right. Shit. Let me add my 1d4 and still see. Still not gonna hit. You're still not gonna hit. Oh shit, really? Really? Yep. Damn, son. Yep. Oh, and I rolled hit. high. Okay, so... 23 doesn't hit him, okay. Nope. That's not hit. Oh my god, he's got a lot of AC buds. Okay. I understand now that this is how it is. <laughs> this, uh, is how it is. this is how it is. Okay, um... <laughs> Yeah, I end my turn. <laughs> That's the end of his turn. Who's next? Uh, next is Wraith 1. They're all in succession, dude. 8, 8, 8. Wraith yeah, 1. Yeah, Wraith is 1 is gonna... <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna go attack Dorian. Because in the closest. Alright. advantage. Oh, that hurts. Oh, no. 1d... <laughs> Yeah, so let's do a ton save. Oh, no, it's just a three, so it's just the 90... Oh, I know. 21 points of Necrotic. Oof. Okay. Um, Dorian has... Well, yep. He gets past this. Ah, he passes a con save, but he takes uh, 19 points of Necrotic. Dang, dude. All right. Um, Dorvir, since you flew... He's gonna... <laughs> what does he have, interestingly enough? Oh, 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 not that one. You know what? He's gonna go invincible again. And as an action. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and you'll move somewhere that you'll never know where he went. He appeared there last round and attacked Koen, Rayscale. Yep. Oh, shit. Rayscale, yeah. It was uh, an opportune pack. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, it's another thing. Uh, top of the round. That was excellent timing for him. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? All right, next up is Wraith. No, Wraith for it's dead. Yeah, <laughs> Wraith for dead. Orion. Orion just take a swing at the fucking bastards that hit him. It's just gonna concentrate on W two. Wait, the one first one has advantage? Uh, no, it doesn't. Because it's three feet. Oh, this large. Yeah, it should have advantage. Uh, no, because Bartok helped Bartok. him. Yeah. yeah. Bartok. Uh, yeah, let's do the first one first. Um, yeah, that hits. Alrighty. Uh, 10 points of damage. And then the remaining two. This one doesn't have advantage. Okay, 23 damage taken so far to W2. Oh, both, both attacks hit as well. Nice. Nice. So, I have 19 points of damage on W2 so for the next two attacks. Uh, that's both of it already? Okay. Yeah. 
So how much damage? Right. 23 plus 19. 42. Alright, uh, that's the end of Torian's turn. Uh, and next one is Edgar. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, so I have one of my swords out, the scimitar plus three. Mm hmm. Hmm. Might be time to go on the offensive. My dude is getting hurt a lot. Um. He only couldn't recover 17 points of HP, no? Yeah, 17 points of HP. Okay, so I can give him a healing word. At the same time, I think I should focus on just killing something, so here we go. Um, I won't draw my other sword yet. Let's see if I can take down W2 in two strikes. So, attack action, which means I lose my sanctuary. You have additional d4 with that damage roll. Um, yeah, because of enlarge. Thanks, my dude. Mm -hmm. Um, attack. You know what? No, <laughs> I'm just gonna do the normal roll. Typing it out like that is too long. D20 plus 10 plus 1d4 because of bless. Oh, that will definitely hit. <laughs> 28 to hit. 28 to hit, yeah, that's. Alright, and then 1d6 plus 6, and then I'll also do a. The slashing flourish. Like, I'll try to defeat all of them. I don't right. really need defense right now, I think. Go, right. go to town, my dude! Go to town! Go to town. Alright, I'll read Slashing Flourish for a bit, because I forgot how exactly that works. Adjacent creatures, yeah. Slashing Flourish, where are you, bro? Slashing... Slashing... Are. By the end of the turn, da, da, da. one of your expanded deal extra damage equal to number you roll to the target you hit and to any other creature within five feet of you. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's what I'll do. So, E10. Okay, so the W2 gets 19 slashing damage. Okay, W2 19 damage slashing. Yep, and Go then the other guy he takes 7 slashing W3. Alright, so W2 7. Flourish. Dude, yeah. dude, your your attack, your damage rolls have a 1d4, not your attack rolls with a with large. Uh, right. Yeah. But that was from Blast. Thanks for the reminder. So that's 21 damage. Okay. I'll bring it to 44 damage. Okay. Alright, and then one more attack. Here we go. D20 plus 6 plus 10 plus D4. It's of bless. Oh my god, double ones. <laughs> Ooh, why do you roll that shit, man? I don't know, dude. That's page. Why do you roll that shit? <laughs> No, seriously, like, Link rules like those level ones even way back in the campaign. <laughs> yeah, even way uh, back, dude. Concentration checks for some freaking reason. That's so beyond. Yeah, so beyond, dude. Ah, oh, there we go, that's so a flaming spear. I mean, it's a flaming flame vortex. Spear. That's a flaming <laughs> vortex, but yeah, it yeah close enough. It looks cooler than the spear. <laughs> that flaming spear, yeah. It looks badass. <laughs> Alright, so that was my action as my bonus action. Let's see. Hmm. I know these are wraiths, right? So my non-magical weapon's not gonna work against them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So with that in mind, Edgar is going to sing And I said, hey, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I said, hey, a healing word. And I cast oh. healing word at... I did not expect that to... That is a song, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I cast a healing word, and it's going to be at second level to Tyrion, because he needs All it, right. bud. Uh, yeah, how much do you heal? Because he can't heal 17. 
Yeah, understood. 2d4 yeah. plus 4, he heals 11. I only used one link because he took 17 points of unhealable damage. Uh. Wait, so he has 32 damage. Oh, yeah, 38 damage, yeah. Um, okay. Let me put that down. Yeah, that makes All sense. Right. I did, I gotta update my thing. And I was like, wait, isn't it 30s? Okay, got it. Alright, got it, got it, got it. 27 so, damage only. Alright. So that is my turn. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, I'm turn end though. D turn okay, end. DM. Yeah. Uh, uh, can we do the damage of race one Only and race one? two for be ah, for gonna... ending their turn? Okay. Next to it. Ne yeah, yeah, next to it. So okay. when they I ended their turn, better. race one and race. Uh, not yet race two because. His turn comes after me. I know. Yeah, yeah. So, no, from last round. From last round, yeah, he should have. Yeah, yeah, okay. I should have, yeah. So, uh, they both pass, actually. Okay, so, so half damage, damage of mm -hmm. uh, sphere. Uh, 15 halved is 7 I'm each. In. So they take 7 each. Uh, so on my Ooh. turn now. I bonus action first. This flaming sphere will Ooh. and ram them again. Back to which one? When did you ram both of them? Uh, I can't. I think because you said just one. Yeah. So just yeah, it's one creature. Uh, Unless you do it back again, you know what I mean? How much move it does it have? I wonder if if I don't because I, I don't, think it's too powerful if I if I like go through all of them. Yeah, right? Let me have a look at the spell, actually. No, I think it, one creature yeah, I just ram it against one, I think. Yeah. And so then, you, as soon as, as, as you ram it on yeah. a creature, it stops it, its movement. It stops its movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll, although, it's <laughs> angled, although it's angled this way, I would rather ram the, uh, race two instead of one. Okay. I just it's don't want to have Edgar be beside it. Yeah. Um, so thoughtful, man. <laughs> of course. Oh, he's full damage. Full damage, uh, take mm -hmm. 17. Uh, 17? Yeah, race 2 takes 17. Okay, one, I think that. 44 yeah, plus 17, that'll bring no. it to 61. No, 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 it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It's I was dead. keeping track of the damage earlier, it failed the cool. same joint that passed. The, the, <laughs> I imagine the wraith uh, becomes part of the sphere and it just burns. <laughs> 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 Them with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that is my bonus action. Uh, DM, while I'm here, uh, where is that? Can I feel? Is there like a switch to activate the the okay. Ethereum core here, or uh, you only need to spend a spell slot, any spell slot to activate it. It's very sensitive. But I need to be close to it. Yeah, you need to be directly on top of the throne. Oh, the throne. So it's, floating, it's floating out of the map. Yeah, it's floating outside the map. Okay. And there's a conduit. Uh, so so the distance. Technically, the conduit will be the throne. That's where you can charge it up. And there's like a, what do you call it, a link towards the core that will activate it. Okay. Uh, that's my plan. So, okay. Edmund's just going to go whoosh, 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 and onto the throne. And then just spend a spell slot, I guess. Uh, okay, so go... what happens if you touch it, right? Yeah. You, pull, you spend a spell slot, it's very sensitive. So as you do that, the humming noise becomes all of a sudden this screeching metal noise. E. Like, okay. as the core actually sounds like, and it's like, in its, in its formation, its orbit, kind of orbiting around, right? And all of a sudden, it kind of stops. Then it speeds up, and it's all of a sudden lightning strikes towards uh, towards the area all around you. Shit. As the conduit oh, like completely gets like what they call it, the throne itself takes all the force. Okay. That it could take, and different areas take lightning. Everyone make deck saves. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. Oh shit! It's a good thing the three of us are blessed. Shit, dude. Yep. <laughs> so fucking crazy. Okay, let me. <laughs> Let me go for it. C. Oh no, not C. S. X. And T. And then I'll add a D4. Uh, you pass, you take half damage. Um, You take 12 points of damage. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I have to concentrate. <laughs> I'll remember it this time. Dex. Uh, Twelve. Dex. Who got 21 earlier? I, got 21 I, earlier. I d Edmund did. I got 12 points of um, lightning damage. Um, What's his name? Bartok rolled a 15. Oh, that fails. So it takes 24 points of lightning damage. I would like to use my reaction to... Mm -hmm. uh, is it actually a reaction? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, when my familiar takes damage, I can use my reaction to grant it resistance against that damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. So half is 12. Does Bar is Bartok yeah. even still alive? Let me see. <laughs> you should check. Oh, so worse, this or nothing. Uh, <laughs> I think he's still alive. 12 HP, right? Yeah, 12. No, 12 his, damage. his HP is 10, so he goes away. Uh, so he's still dead. Oh. Okay. Just summon him, but another Bartok, you know? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Wow. Lightning just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it dies. It dies. Oh, uh, also takes, uh, uh, 12, 16. Oh, he also fails, so it takes 24 points of lightning damage. Yeah. DM, I automatically succeed my concentration checks because my save, my plus you, is no, nine. No, you have to do that. Just, just roll the thingy. You don't have to do concentration checks and stuff like that because the battle's over. Oh, okay. So it's actually <laughs> as, you start, as you enable it and you don't know where the fuck they're there. Okay. TBH. So there's that weird feeling that there's an invisible dwarf. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's just, AC's still around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you know where you went. So technically, you're out of battle. All but right. you still have to do the same so that you take the damage. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, who else haven't done their saves yet? Uh, I finished my save. The con save was for concentration, but it doesn't uh, how much matter is your since save? there are no enemies. How uh, much 15. is your save? 15? Oh, that's failed. My dex? My dex? Yeah, you're, my you're dex save, was yeah. 22. Oh, you just take half. You take 12 points. Um, Rescale? I failed mine. Uh, 24 points of lightning damage. Yeah. Alright, uh, and the Ethereum core has been activated. Yeah. It's spinning really fast. And you f you don't know yet what happened though, Cyril, but you're still down here. It's mm -hmm. a bit of an earthquake actually happening, rumbling as it does it. Mm -hmm. But the place where you are in is pretty stable. Aside for the lightning strikes that hit all around, but so far you think that this place is stable. And it can handle it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what if we get buried inside here? I don't want to die like this. As I said, it's pretty stable. <laughs> <laughs> like when you are standing around, yeah. stable. So. Ray scales just being a drama queen. Yeah, so what else yeah. do you want to do? What else do you guys want to do? Uh. Mm. I mean, I want to look around. Cause, uh, like, yeah, interestingly yeah. enough, there's a statue on your left, Edgar. And it looks very similar to the night you spotlight like, this morning. <laughs> it looks similar to? To the night you just spot this morning. At the right side, there's like a podium, but with no statue. Oh. Oh, oh my god, it is the stage for you to sing, dear Edgar. That's <laughs> <laughs> where, where the other death knight was, the one you fought earlier this morning. Yeah, dude. It's unactivated, the right one has been activated. I see. So, somebody activated that other Death Knight on the right. That mm -hmm. must have been Thurvair. Oh, How do we yeah. dismantle this thing? I don't want another one of those things running around. So be the Why don't the we problem. leave a sign saying, do not activate this, please? <laughs> Ray skill, that doesn't sound like a smart plan. I was, it's a polite plan though, because the word please would be. It's a polite plan. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I look around the thing? Like, maybe there's some sort of way to destroy this contraption? No. Like, you look around, there's a table where essence of magic used to be, probably magic items, but, you know, they're gone now. Aww. Son of a bitch. Except for Ethereum core, that, that's it, man. Like, so far, everything has been... ...shot. Looted. Mm. You know, maybe we could seal the entrance to this room. At least we can do that, you know, like... It's already hard enough going inside. No mere human can go inside here. Yeah. yeah. You have to go through all that shit. You can put glyphs and stuff, but I don't know if you have that spell. 
And you don't know what Durbin is, because I don't you have none of you brought C invisibility, that's so sad. Yep. None of us have a gem of seeing either. That's bad, no. so he could start killing you right now, and I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's around, it. you don't know where he is. <laughs> um did was he was it did he make it clear that he knows that we killed his brother before? Uh, uh kind of. Well, not really. He just just one of my brother and just activated the ring. Okay. Uh Edmund will shout into the room. Uh, uh he will shout into the room, "Greybeard, if you are still here, listen close. Upstairs are vampires and they are well aware that you made your way down here. If you try to escape now without our help, they will attack you. Show yourself and reveal yourself to us, and we will escort you out. No answer. Okay. That's right, bitch. Show yourself. Oh my god! No answer. No answer, Edmund. No answer. Okay. I I whispered to Ed, Edmund like why don't we confess that we you killed his brother maybe that will piss him off and he'll show himself. So. I'm right in the back, you motherfucker! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, Edmund will nod and then will think that it's worth a try. Edmund will hover forward still with mm -hmm. his wings beating and then he will say, "Truth be told, oh, Greybeard, I slayed your brother." Face no, me. <laughs> and I ate his corpse. <laughs> no, no, no answer. Did he might Damn not it. Be here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he really is gone. He's I mean, the, gone, I think. Maybe the first seven attempts kind of proved it, but I'm not sure that he's <laughs> Edmund will just, you know, uh, move, shake his head and say, well, it was worth a try. And then... I think the best way. Maybe the plans. Move on. I just like pass you to him. To him, mother said she's just like I think it's a bad idea, Edmund. And then points at the at the Ethereum core. What's a bad idea? That. Can you not feel it in your magical veins? What are we feeling if we're supposed yeah. to feel something? Well, Edmund, you're supposed to feel something, actually. You're supposed to recover all your spell slots. Oh? Uh -huh. But when you touch that don't... thing, the conduit... Yeah? Yeah, you recover all your spell slots. But not everyone else, just you, because you're the one that got contact with it. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Uh... And then... Turian says it's not a good idea? Yep. Edmund just says, on the contrary, I quite feel like it is. <laughs> and Dorian just kind of stares at it for a second. As you guys move back outside, right? He leaves. Yeah, Edmund is heading out, at least. Yeah, and then he follows suit, eventually. Alright, so you escape this entire keep here of some sort, or this dwarven keep. Uh, throne room, I mean. And you make your way up, back to the good old uh, catacombs. Interestingly enough, the vampires aren't here anymore. Nor the vampire spawns. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough. Including whatever mangled body of art there is left, it's not there. And there has been a fire where the dead bodies were. Okay. They were just um, ignited in a fire. They might have gotten exposed to sunlight somehow. Uh, do you get up? Do you explore the catacombs a bit more, or do you leave? I Edgar will at least for a minute or so. All right, move around. Move your character around. Where the things you want to check? Okay, hold on. The map is loading for me. I don't see the map yet. Okay. But the catacombs are empty, from what you know. Because mm. like, if it's sun, if it's a burn, if like there's burn marks or something somewhere, it like, makes me think either they got burned by the sun or the electricity a while ago. No, the what do you call it? Um, it's just the body. It's nothing vampire spawn like. Just the whatever mangled bodies they ate earlier. Oh, 
Yeah. I tell my or party mates platform. that I'll be checking the right side here. We haven't actually explored this area. I'll go with... Alright, little characters. Um, there are multiple stuff around statues and things like that. That isn't in the map. But there's a statue here of a warrior. It's a big statue, so it can make it bigger. Uh, that's it. Unless you want to check it, stuff like that. May as well. I'll check it. Um, no, but you can do an investigation or perception check. Um, the perception, that's slightly better than investigation. How much is your plus in perception? Your modifier? Uh, just uh, give it a roll. 14. Oh, 14. Yeah, in it you see a number. It's like number one. Um, and you can do an investigation check. Because there's some sure. scriptures, and you kind of have to, like, what two and do together, you know? So you got to do investigation with scriptures. Okay, that's uh, 16. 16. So the scriptures say, the weapon is the death of others. Thy weapon is the death of others. So those who seek it, die by it. Those who seek it, die by it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything to you at this point. Indeed. What is this? this um... Mm. Well, the thing is that I have to just prior to time. Um, it's already been bypassed because the, the tomb has been opened, so the riddle doesn't make sense anymore. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, the riddle for the tomb. Mm. Mm -hmm. For the tomb of annihilation. I'll check south uh, and north. Um, not much in the south area room. There's a hole here that you can check, but it's very dark going down. Do you want to go down it? Uh, no, but I'll take a piece of rock, cast light on it, and then throw it down to see how far down it goes. Pretty down, about like uh, 40 feet. There, and from there, um, you can see more catacombs of sorts, like a catacomb of sorts, you know, like a mausoleum, like a room. Mm. Do you want to um, inspect there? There might be treasures or some other thing we can find. Uh... I'm kind of scared, but sure, let's go. <laughs> it's like, you were scared down? all of a sudden. Yeah, <laughs> let's go down, I'll get the rope ready. Right, no, 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 you can slide down there. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you, you still have Featherfall and stuff? No. Um, I can cast it at higher level, but then like... Uh, well, they don't I, have the strength. How much fine. admin strength? Grayscale can't carry you. She doesn't have enough strength. I can, I'm... like, hold on to you while you climb down, you know, like, hand-holding or arm-holding. <laughs> That's not going to work. I'll just set the rope, dude. I'll set the rope. Yeah, while well, you guys fly down. Who's the first one that goes down? Uh... Oh. Edmund, I was going to ask if your imp can go down first, but he's gone. I will, uh... What you don't, imp? You don't, you don't know who... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Damn. You don't know the F, you haven't met him yet. He's in this oh, time. Yes. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I asked Edmund, can you go first? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund just sighs and then... Whoosh. So you fly down in the middle of it, a sigil erupts and make a dexterity oh. saving throw. <laughs> My God. There we go. There we Dex go. Save. God damn it. Constitution, actually. Okay. <laughs> 23. 23? Oh, you take half. Okay. Half of... 65. Aquatic damage. <laughs> half of 65? Yep. Is 30... So 33. 32? Yeah, 32, yeah. 32 because down. Edmund, 32 plus of... Edmund flies down and then this thing erupts and he just hovers there. And then just stares yeah. at Ray Scale menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm Edmund, sorry Ed I led you into yeah, this. Edmund will say, "Have we satiated your curiosity?" Yes. Oh, I'm Ed, sorry. Because once you reach the room, you have to do the dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Here, take oh. this potion. No, it's <laughs> so, not done. Yet. He, he go, does it go down to the room or not? I don't. I'll go down. Oh, okay. Well, so no one's gonna go down anymore. 
You changed y'all's mind after that. <laughs> Wait. No, I'm going down. I did already I, did the sigil like like lose its glow or is it still? It loses glow. Yeah. Do you continue going down to the room? Cause there's a room down there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I go down. Yeah, race scale goes down. Uh, are you race scale go down at you? Cause it just matters who the first one who goes down. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Yeah. I'm... What? Okay. Who the Wait, what? What's in the room? I'm actually going to the room. Wait, Rafi already said race scale going down. Oh, yeah. Okay, race scale will make it like thirty seconds. Oh my bro. god. Is... Not... Wait, so there was, it's still, you said the glyph doesn't glow. What, what, yeah, what do it you lost mean? its glow. I don't give a who gets to the room first. That wasn't in the room. That was just going down. Okay. In one of on the way of the path going down, right? Because it's supposed to be going down. There's a yeah, I didn't it. go to the room. I was going downwards <laughs> to the room. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so who goes down? Who goes down to the room? No one? Uh, Edmund will na lang. Edmund will na lang. Alright, so Edmund make a decision. <laughs> you fix a shit. <laughs> you didn't say anything. You're not saying anything. You fix a shit. Seventeen. Oh, you, that's right, no. You said you dexterity, think? not constitution yeah, anymore. Ah, oh, fucking okay. Not constitution, dexterity. Okay. How much is that? That's that. Seven. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. That's fine enough. How much is the you full damage? You take points of fire damage as a, as a fireball erupts underneath your feet as you land in this room. I'm mean, okay. not land, but tactically hover on top of it. <sighs> Voila. Hmm. Edmund is still yeah. just standing. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> like he, <laughs> he just breathes like heavily and then like smoke and ash like, go, uh, like expands from his <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. You're in this small crypt. Uh, uh, put, your, put your character. Like friggin' angry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, would, that would piss me off. <laughs> uh, Edmund would be bigger, I think, like that. Yeah. Uh, just written up with a tile. Yeah, just written ah, okay. up with a tile. Yeah, just line it with up with a tile. That's good. All right, so Edmund, what you see is a tiny little room. Some, there's fire around, you know, it burned a couple of parchments, but you know, right, there, right there and then, you can actually see a gleaming artifact of sorts. Um, let me have a look what it is. Race kill, um, race kill followed. Okay. <laughs> oh, everyone's oh, it's pretty clear. Don't worry. Everyone, everyone's pretty clear. Oh sh. Okay. Uh, I just had to eat uh, all of the, that then. Yeah, I just had to eat all of that so far. Okay. They offer you a potion of greater healing. <laughs> I take it. Okay. Uh, in this, there is a. Actually, yeah, it's um. What do you call it? A gleaming, a gleaming ring looks like pretty valuable and precious at the right side of the... You see that table? It's table here. It's right here. So yeah. I'm using your symbol. Yeah, that one. Okay. okay that's a ring there. Edmund takes it's it. It's too magical of nature. Edmund I, takes it. I warn Edmund, like, Edmund, don't touch it. Uh, I use telekinesis to lift it up and... Oh. Nothing, if... nothing happens. It's, it's, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, there's some uh, parts of the scrolls here. I'm using Edmund's token again. <laughs> uh, they're burnt now, though, sadly. Oh. You can go investigate what that was. Okay, I'll... Is it investigation? Can I try Arcana as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can try Arcana, yeah. You can try Arcana. Arcana or investigation? Try Arcana with this. Whatever remains of the scrolls. Nice. Ooh. Oh, so, uh, yeah, there were necromancy spell scrolls, like necromantic spells. They've used them, but now they're burnt. You can you can get a parchment out of it if you ever want to, but no one knows a wizard, so you can't use yeah. it to scroll scribe. Yeah, but technically they're burnt, um, so you can't use them anymore. Damn. Okay. And of course, there's that tomb right there, right in front of you. That coffin. Anyone willing to open it? Let's or do you wanna check for do arcane traps or mechanical traps first this time. Alright, so let's check it for arcane traps. I'll do it. Okay, roll a kana. How about mechanical traps? Uh, I'll oh, do that's it. Not fantastic, that's 12. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't see any arcane traps. I tell them, coast is clear. 
<laughs> they're gonna say that I'm not sure, right? <laughs> you can always say I'm not sure. I'm but, not um, sure, man. I call traps investigation or perception. I'll do perception for the for the traps. Mm-hmm. Perception. Perception. <laughs> this great. Edmund roll the twenty-three. Um, uh, for you, no mechanical trap for sure, Edmund. For okay. um, for what's his name? Uh, Ray Scale. Ray Scale is not sure, but Edmund is sure. So there's no mechanical traps. Mm-hmm. As for magical traps, that you do not know. Mm-hmm. You want to risk opening it? And then uses I, guys, a I just want to say, like, opening tombs, are, uh, it's been historically not a ba- great idea. You Can, know? Like, do we recognize what the tomb is for? or? We, like, um, it could be for anything, but it looks pretty prestigious. Like, you can do a history like, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask history like check. history. Okay. Uh, I have shit history though, but I'm just gonna try. Wait, maybe I can help you. Someone else can do investigation around the room. I can do that. I'm not great at it though. Let's see investigation. Uh, history. I'll help you with your history. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you're not. You don't see anything out there. You don't see anything far are you, below the future. Are you proficient in history? history? Yeah, you're proficient. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're me. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, you do it instead. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, you do it instead since you're proficient in history. <laughs> but I'll, I might know a little bit. Yeah, it's still worth doing. Even though you didn't hear oh, the okay, okay, earlier. sure. So you want to... Then do it. Yeah. Okay, you do it. I mean, you do it properly because you got... Both different information earlier. Ah, uh, okay. So just do it, Edmund. Just do it separately, both of you. Oh, I do. Oh, our ratio not enough. That's completely not near. How about you, Edmund? How much you got? Thirteen. Oh no, 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 no. You know, you can't figure it out. Yeah. I do not recognize. I do not recognize this tomb or this crypt. Hmm. It does not resemble uh, anything from my memory. Nor from yeah, someone what someone kind of gave you a clue, maybe. Ooh. But you can't remember it. Hmm. Are we gonna open it? This might be some kind of dwarven king's th- tomb, though. Yeah, all the more reason not to disturb it, because it's a king's tomb. What's this deal? Like... Ah, that's nothing. Okay. Well, it's just, it's just mm. design. Okay. You can't go down there or up or anything. It's just a dead end. Well, okay. all right then. If you don't want to desecrate this tomb, then I think we should get out of here. Yeah. My tomb. <laughs> Actually, right, so you guys fly up. <laughs> <laughs> Race Are you gonna open it or not? That's no. so funny. It's really talking about this character. We're gonna fly. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna fly up. I know, his curiosity is supposed to be killing him right now, it's so funny. Yeah, he's like, you want to, but he did, he did show what happened to Edmund. Yeah. That's true. DM, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink the greater healing potion Ray Scale gave me. Yeah. Alright, so you make your way back up, so you're just like, satisfied. You didn't look too good, yes, Edmund. I'm so happy, thank you. <laughs> Uh, he says, you don't look too good, Edmund. Edmund takes, yeah. uh, like, glugs down the great potion of greater healing. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he looks back at Torian and he says, uh, he, he says, uh, you, don't look, you don't look so good yourself. <laughs> just like, give you a wink, just walks away. What the, f- okay. What? <laughs> Doesn't want to banter anymore. Take a tire of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so what else do you get for the check? Should we should we get out of here? I guess we can. Did there's we explore the north this area? It, Northeast. Yeah, there's also the one on top of the tomb. There's nothing there. You checked that earlier, there's nothing there. Okay. So um, here the top of the tomb, you mean this one? Yeah, there's a map there. Edmund actually. Edmund stops here and then checks for traps. <laughs> Ah, no, nothing. <laughs> okay. There's no trap there. I mean, you can roll for it, unless you don't trust me. You pretty much have cleared, you, you pretty much have cleared all the traps in this dimension. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a map, actually, of Umbral, um, Umbral Passage. 
Mm. And if you have a look into it, your village is one of the villages here at your that the Baron used to control. Like your your uh, village is one of the former villages that your Baron used to control. That the Baron used to control. Okay, and I say to Edmund, Edmund, we can't stay allied with that guy, or at least I definitely can't. After you save the world, I'm gonna go after this guy. Suit yourself. So. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys go up? Yeah. Alright, so, um. So it's dusk no. outside. Um. And behind you is actually a huge glowing light reaching the skies. Interestingly enough, where the portal is, some red energies are colliding towards the blue light, and they're like mixing each other right on top of the clouds. Mm. So you do notice that um, that it's working. It, it is sucking. It's overpowering the portal's uh, energies, and it's sucking it from this world. Cool. Uh, however, what you didn't see before are there are now cracks on the ground. Blue cracks, mm. and it is rumbling and stay and it's unstable. The ground on top, on, on on where you are, where you're standing right now, on, on top of the village, mm. and there are blue glow blowing cracks in the night sky. And Edgar, something interesting. Well, it's not interesting, but you look at the sky, and you actually see smoke coming from the direction of your village. <gasps> oh, oh well, shit, dude. I rush towards my village. It's pretty far. I'm guessing you want to go meet with Sylphrain first. Yeah, if, if we can, if we can. If I can hitch a ride. All right, so Sylphrain is there, uh, kind of like just standing there and said, "I just got here. What's going on?" I was scouting the area. A couple of devils and demons took him out. It's a squad. And that's it. Two late search parties after you, Edmund. Sylphrain. It was a big disruption in the magical, in the Ethereum energy of this world. Yeah, I'm guessing that's coming from you. Indeed. But first, Zephrain, we need to make for the village. Oh, which village? My village. Let's head there now. I still right, haven't so, figured out the name. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna ride towards there. Uh, uh, the wine village, why not? Alright, so we're gonna call it that, and you fly there. And there it is, you see it, your village is in embers from the sky. Oh my Something God. or someone has attacked it. Do you know you wanna, any news of this, Zephrain? Hmm? No, I do not. I was too busy handling the devils that were looking after you. Hmm. That's it. I have missed this, I apologize. Gonna stop I, I look around and see what happened. Um, do a perception check. All right. As you're in the sky. That's not my strong suit. Here we go. Well, people can do perception checks. You don't have to be the only one. They just have to do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Anyone else? I'll do it. Too. Edmund will. Oof. Edmund is it's... at 22. Okay. How much did you get? How much did you get? Um, Rishi got 59 now. How much did you get, Edgar? I got 8, dude. <laughs> oh, no, no, only Edmund sees it. At the corner of his eye, a vampire spawn comes out of the village and into the darkness. Hmm. Oh, no. Edmund will say to Edgar, Do you see now, Edgar? The world is burning. The devils and demons roam this land wreaking havoc. And it is our charge now to save it. Will you help us on our conquest? Uh, will you help us on our quest? Yes, I will. But that, yeah. well, of course, the dragon also made a perception check. Okay. And of course, the dragon has seen it. But he stays quiet. <laughs> and with that, we end our session. Hey, let's go. Damn it, dude. The one time that I rolled badly. <laughs> Yep. Edmund's a dick. Just away with it. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days it will catch on to you. <laughs> <laughs> you pass an entire dungeon level, I'm gonna lie. Yeah. And a puzzle as well. So there's a puzzle for that tomb. What puzzle? Alright. Uh the tomb had a puzzle, the the, the catacombs. 
Okay. Actually, I think it doesn't matter either way, cause like he's still gonna go after those vampires anyway. Yeah. So, Edmund was just saving his own butt, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really. You could have stopped if he's inside the guy. I know, right? We could have killed them all. Or yeah. died trying. Could be, yeah, could be, could be, could be. I mean, we could, could have survived be, be. the vampire fight and then die later against the the dwarf Durgan? and the wraiths. Yeah, yeah. Well, Durgan escaped. He, uh, he cut his losses and just like, I already got what I needed. Mm. Technically, he already got the relic. He had 26 HP. <laughs> she... You were curious. And on top of that, he had parry. And okay. repost. He's uh, a battle, battle master, master, battle master swashbuckler. Wow. Oh, sh oh my god. I mean, he you, he has sentinel ray scale, and you would have just, you would have just fumbled, you dude. Yeah. 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 One of these days you might see him again, but we'll see. Uh, any um, uh, any post game announcements at the end before I? Turn? Um, XP. We will XP. Cool. Uh, but that's it. You can turn on. Thank you very much for YouTube. Thank All you, right. Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> right. Follow my YouTube channel too. You'll see me in the comments section. Subscribe so. <laughs> like it. Yeah. Uh, All right. And uh, you can also watch other videos such as the uh, Gauntlet of Gathering. No, that's another thing <laughs> on this channel. Oh my okay. God. Yes. Um, watch the finale of Gauntlet of Gathering, please. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> Right, okay. See you guys in the next one. You're okay. gonna love it. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. That was Hammerfall episode two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll see you next time on the third episode. After that, it'll be the finale for Hammerfall. And uh, tomorrow, actually, after this game, we are going to do the finale for Gauntlet of Gathering. So stay tuned uh, for that. Thank you again. Bye bye.